other stuff that we've got here are two quests, one getting started. Uh, we basically have to grow and harvest parsnips and conveniently enough, uh, Lewis, the mayor, gave us seeds to do that. And then uh, they also say in the thing, uh, Lewis tells us that it would be really nice if we walked around town and introduced us that most people already know I'm moving in. So that's kind of been the, the gossip and now everybody's intrigued to, uh, to meet me. So there you have it. We're getting started. This is our first morning and uh, let's rise and shine. And the first thing we're going to do is reorganize our inventory. I don't care too much about where things, uh, I don't care about VSync.
Hey there, folks. We are going to get going here in just a few minutes. Um, let's go ahead and kick up our Stardew game screen. Um, I will put that back up briefly. I think we're going to uh, swap in and out. Uh, just a couple times I've been getting stuff set up, dropped a tweet, all that. Again, uh, for anybody who hasn't seen, I am pretty new to all this, so... Take that for what it's worth. We have uh, Stardew Valley. I'm going to restart. Uh, there was a VOD that I put up on YouTube. Yet I actually showed up on YouTube today because I had to figure out how to do all that. Yeah, that's right. I'm learning. Um, so I got that uh, yesterday. I streamed uh, stuff similar to what I think we're going to do again today. Uh, I did a week plus of... Uh, a new world in Stardew, and it was it was a good time. I had a blast. Uh, you know, new channel, all that. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, activity, but definitely saw some folks had checked out the VOD um, that I did put up yesterday. And funny story there. Hey, the the first four hour stream that I did, uh, I still didn't know anything and was just kind of turning figuring out how to turn everything on and all that and didn't know that I wasn't yet actively capturing the VOD onto Twitch. So my bad, my mistake. I realized that right after when I went to try to figure out how to uh, how to display that and realized, oh, it wasn't even there to display. So corrected all that, came back last night and did a one day Stardew 
test the VOD, do everything there. So that's the one that's up here on Twitch, and it is also up on my YouTube channel. And it's a false start. I, I said that in the description um, and kind of knew as I was wrapping up that day. I, you know, I was kind of shot a little bit. Um, not to say that I, I can't go longer in Stardew, but just trying to figure out all the, the machinations of Twitch and, you know, what what I got to be doing in the background, what's what's working, what isn't, all that kind of stuff. Um, I was pretty well uh, ready to wrap that up. So be aware, it's... Uh, that first episode is not going to have anything to do. We're going to do a brand new start here. We are going to, uh, you know, I, I went in, actually went and cleaned up a huge number of games in my old Stardew Valley. Let's take a look. Uh, and I've, I've been playing this game since it first came out, so I've done this a number of times. And you can see I've still got a bunch of worlds in here. Uh, these are all just my own personal ones. Um, <laughs> you know, random names that you're always sitting there scratching your head. Uh, and you can see, you know, usually I get up to uh, year three, year two. I deleted a lot of the old three-year ones because these, you know, the further back you go, the longer it's been since you played them. And, and some of these I've really just replaced and, and moved on. I'm going to keep a few of those just for myself. Uh, Louie is actually my my current uh, just world I kind of started up over the holidays. Having a blast with it. As you can see, I'm into year two there. Um but uh, good old Louie doing his scotta be uh farming is uh, is not something I'm going to be showing here. You know, not that I, I couldn't, but it's not not ours. This is the YouTube. Uh, this was the uh, season or holiday special uh, that I pre-recorded. So I'm going to leave it as is. We're not going to do that here on Twitch at all. It will. Uh, just wait. The next time I'm going to be on vacation or something like that and I need more filler, we may pick this world back up and, you know, go, <laughs> wait, where were we? What did we leave this on? Uh, for those of you that don't know, we had just done the spring flower dance was kind of our, our goal to get through. So uh, we'd done that, wrapped up there, and it will stay as is, um, just kind of on mothballs waiting to go. And I just didn't have the heart to delete everything. Uh, in my old ones, but as you can see, some uh, some uh, some of my naming comes from books I've I've read. Uh, if you can figure out some of these, uh, good. Some of them I, I'm just trying to uh, coordinate with my own uh, thoughts, or they just come through. Like um, Chirkwitz, I I don't know if that. Pelinor uh, and and these you could probably put together if if you're in the know, uh, but I don't know where Chirkwiz came from or if that was just a random name <laughs> I don't randomize. I don't know. It's been a while since some of these, um, but again, those two kind of tie into uh, particular author, particular set of works. Same with this one, uh, Walter and Tower Farm. Uh, if you can put that one together, kudos to you. And uh, here we go. Uh, this one was just kind of fuzzy bear waka waka waka, and then I was doing like different wapa farm waka wapa, um, so some of that kind of stuff. And then, uh, as I said, these two uh, I'm gonna hang on to. They're pretty active at this point. Uh, I don't know if you know if I will get saturated streaming and never go back to this one. But hey, he got a cool red hat in the mind, so that's pretty awesome. This guy got the. Uh, the like foragers hat or something that was a random drop or uh, it may have been a chest loot in the, the uh, desert too i don't know so anyway uh we're gonna start fresh i am kind of filling time here <laughs> as we go i want to make sure that uh i get my youtube video loaded up and it has been going in the background uh it is ready to go so Bear with me here. I'm going to put you guys back to start and kill the mic. Uh, it'll be another two to three minutes, and then we'll be ready to go. So let's go back to the start screen here. Uh, I will be back with you in just a moment.
All right, and we're back, uh, ready to kick things off. So uh, we sent out the tweets. We uh, uploaded the latest videos, both for YouTube-specific content and uh, the previous VOD. Got the word out on those. So we'll uh, we'll see if we get any folks dropping by while we play Stardew today. But um, expect. Uh, a few good arm hours of country life and this is going to be a full clean start uh i am like i said uh gonna run this one all the way through hopefully hopefully no other technical setbacks we'll just keep doing this again and again uh it's a fun enough game to get going um so i think this time to designate we're gonna be farmer whoa uh maybe not shoot uh, I didn't want to be Habage again with uh, Habage already up on the Holiday World, and we'd done Cam and all that kind of stuff in the previous uh, attempts. Let's do... Um, let's just be... We could be ham cabbage. That's the contraction. Ham cabbage. And then... Uh, farm name. Oh, yeah. In the past one, I think we'll go back. Let's do... Let's do Good Eats Farm this time. And then our favorite thing. Let's say... Honestly, I haven't played shuffleboard since, I don't know, I was maybe like eight years old and in Florida with my parents. Been a long time, but uh, that's what Ham Cabbage's uh, favorite thing is going to be. Um, let's go Doggy. Uh, and we were trying with this pooch, so let's do him. Uh, again, kind of talk through these. <laughs> what an over, over rundown. Um, I'm personally fairly fair skinned i freckle i burn uh, but as a farmer i think getting a darker complexion is probably a good thing we're gonna be out in the sun a lot right so um and then i want to go back to the hair we'd chosen this one it's kind of unkempt um like you know we're our biggest priority is our uh our farming but uh you know, we like to have a little bit of fun, uh, keep things loose, and, and uh, I don't know, carefree. Okay, shirt. Um, last time, we did gray, and I kind of like green. I've done that a lot myself, uh, just on my own playthroughs. We're not wearing the Joja t-shirt. I think we'll keep pushing though. This is the one that we'd ended up with. I like this kind of an understated look. Uh, it's got that kind of farm back panel, you know, where that like shoulder part of your shirt uh, goes across. Um, some of these it's kind of tough to tell. Like once you get out running around, you're like, that seems kind of uh, not that the. Not that I'm one to uh, to designate, like, oh, you can't wear that if you're one style or another, but like this, um, kind of has a uh, chest <laughs> curve to it, a little little definition there. That uh, hey, we're not we're not uh, Mr. Universe here, and um, I, I don't know, I don't think that's where we're starting from. Um, it's all right. It's got a little bit to it. I don't know what that is. Um, suspenders on blue, but that, I don't know. It's a little, a little turquoise -y. Uh I think those are the bandana shirts. Uh, I like that. Let's remember that. 86. That could be our start. It's just plain, plain black. See, that one doesn't that kind of, you know, flatter front, if you will. Um, kind of dig that but it's a little looks a little long sleeved uh we're going spring into summer so uh there we go v-neck um like a smile what's that all about 
a big white bow tie kind of thing, maybe? Whoa. Reminds me of the slimes I was just killing. Or, uh, gas, I'm sorry. Is that like an alien head? I think that is. Alien skull? Um, ooh. Just the... I've don't, I don't, never done the bib overalls with white. Um, like a little darker plain... If I was going to go like plain green. Oh, that, that's kind of good. Got like a t-shirt underneath. Uh, green kind of pullover. Okay, I think that's the runner-up. Or the, the lead lead dog. Number 66. Uh, no, no. That's kind of cool, too. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but... Kind of dig it. That 62, 66... You know what? Let's do that. Kind of like that. All right. 56. Pants. Uh, this is where you get the option. You can wear shorts, uh, skirt. Uh, but we're just going to go regular pants. We're a farmer. Uh, we don't want to get poked by all the uh, debris scattered around our farm. And then uh, we're going to have a beer. So here. Uh, you know, blue eyes. Get a little lighter. Hair, uh, I like the brown, uh, but just a little, a little bit into the salt and pepper. And our pants were fine with blue jeans. I think that's good. So here we go. Our name is Ham Cabbage. We uh, are gonna establish and work on Good Eats Farm. We are gonna play shuffleboard every chance we can get. And uh, we're going to say that we prefer dogs. Um, we're not going to skip the intro this time. I did in the second round. I think that was kind of part of it. I, you know, I was like, all right, we're just dropping right in. Um, and again, I'm going to run standard farm. Uh, I could see us playing, playing a few runs of Stardew over the, you know, in the future. So want to keep the options open. And for that reason... Um, we're going to go normal, normal everything, uh, normal community center, mine rewards, all that. Uh, these, uh, obviously, multiplayer doesn't matter to us too much. Um, we're not going to set a seed. Um, there is a farm type that does the spawn monsters. We could do that. Uh, and I, I don't care about guaranteeing year one completable. Um it takes all the fun, you know, first of all, I don't care too much about, uh, about getting year one as I'd, I'd rather build up a good farm. And, you know, I, I think that kind of goes against everything that the game is building up is, Hey, you're moving to the country and kind of settling in. So, uh, just normal, uh, we'll, we'll take chance and, uh, hope for some good RNG. It makes it more fun that way. Uh, mine rewards here. You can, um, I don't know. I, I thought that was going to be like, more or less that you know like uh easy difficult but i guess not this shows what i know uh profit margin normal um i guess this would be increasing difficulty um you get less back for everything you earn but uh well, you know that's it's one of those that makes it really difficult at the beginning and slows you down a whole lot but eventually you're going to get probably, you know, super rich. One of the things that I've said overall is, uh, okay. Um, separate nearby. We're not playing multiplayer, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Normal, normal, everything starting up. Uh, one of the things that I was saying, though, I've often envisioned, you know, how cool would it be if they introduced scarcity or um, or overabundance of items, right? Um, and I, I should say, as we're kicking these things off, I played this game a lot. You guys just saw that from the load screen if you were here when I was getting started. Um, we, or I, ha have played through this a lot. I know a lot of stuff as a player. 
and it nothing is worse than watching some YouTuber or streamer pretend that they don't know where something is and acting stupid or acting surprised, but then, oh, look, I just happened to get everything done that I needed to. I'm not going to waste your time or your intelligence doing that. I, I played this game. I know a lot of the stuff. I don't know everything. I generally don't look stuff up, I, but I did. You know, when I was first getting started, I didn't know um, some of the fish. The fish is the most thing, but also uh, like how far you had to spread trees out and things like that. We'll get into all that. Um, some of those kind of things I certainly look up. And the wiki is really, really strong. If you have, uh, have questions or, or see this game and want to give it a try, uh, look for Stardew Valley Wiki. Uh, it has a lot of good information if you're feeling overwhelmed or lost. But, you know, watch a, watch a couple people play. Play along with a, a good series, and uh, you'll have a blast. And, you know, making those mistakes and learning as you go is kind of fun. But let's kick off. Here we go. Um, and I'll shut up as we go, except to read the prompts. Ah. Uh, and for my very special grandson, it's grandpa. He's probably probably a little wheezy. <gasps> I want you to have this seat on the low. <clears throat> no, he's probably fine. Except for that that hand twitch. <laughs> Wait, you took my envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Dude, I don't think patience is the best virtue right here. Now listen close. Sorry. Shh. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Mm -hmm. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Wait, the nothing? Is the nothing coming? Atreyu! When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. The envelope? A package. I do like his room, though. Uh, oh, oh, bye. Get better, Grandpa. X six years later. Uh, we're going to assume he got better and enjoyed a thriving thing, but Grandpa's not around anymore. So here's the office. We have multiple empty cubes with booze bottles, or what appear to be booze bottles in them. <laughs> you know, it, some people got laid off, and it's, too, you know, like, hire some janitors right the the scum in the uh, office is but maybe that's just like maybe it's a really nice marble it's all very uniform so i don't think it's quite the corrosion so i uh, let's just assume that that's the desk pattern because everything else looks you know it doesn't look run down or shabby uh 30226 i've never really figured out what that scratch pad is all about uh but we got our computer and here is our envelope we were ta I was talking about it in one of the previous streams. Uh, the little seal here, I uh, believe that's a PT for Pelican Town. Uh, but why Grandpa had the seal, I've got some speculation. Let's leave it alone. But if you've got an idea, uh, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Dear Ham Cabbage, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. Uh, did you know at the time? I've enclosed the deed to that place. Wow. My pride and joy. Good Eats Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's kind of presumptuous, Grandpa, but dude, thanks for the farm. Wow. Uh, this was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, Grandpa Cabbage. That's right, Cabbage is our family name. Uh, and, you know, Grandpa, whoever his children were, uh, valued ham above all else. So, uh, they gave me the, the best combination name that could possibly be. So, Grandpa's given us this uh, this letter. We just finally reached the end of our rope uh, in our kind of dead end job, and I'm like, it's not for me. Uh, I wonder what Grandpa was thinking, and sure enough, he knew. So, for how knows how many who knows how many years, uh, but I think we can assume enough for me to grow up from being a little boy to uh, to an adult. Um, this farm has been just waiting for us. Uh, P.S. 
if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? And this, you know, I, I tend to assume that uh, Lewis would have been a young guy when Grandpa wrote the letter, right? If, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, maybe they were kind of contemporaries, but I kind of like to think that uh, Grandpa maybe helped out Lewis the way uh, Lewis is now going to uh, help us kind of acclimate to our new life. So here we go. We're cruising in the bus. Uh, apologies. I think that in these cutscenes, uh, there's some preset and for getting it through uh, OBS uh, for my resolutions on this laptop. Uh, we get a little bit clipped off, but we'll work with that once we can adjust the game settings. So here we go. And then the bus just blew up. Uh, those were bad sounds as far as bus engines go, I believe. Hello, you must be Ham Cabbage. You must be Robin. Uh, hi, Robin. You look kind of confused. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you your way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. Wow. All right. Awesome. And uh, he's now the mayor. So, hey, Mayor Lewis. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. That's, that's really nice, frankly. Um... And I've said before, it's pretty cool that, you know, in this town where uh, presumably the deed had been filed, Grandpa knew what he was giving me, so he had to set that up. And probably Lewis administered that and said, hey, you know, all right, Good Eats Farm is, uh, is the property of so-and-so, and at some point he'll be coming. And I would guess I reached out, uh, you know, maybe return envelope with the letter or a little info slip, like, hey, when you're ready to move out here, send a note to so-and-so so that they can, uh, can get you the keys. Whatever the, the case, uh, Lewis knew that we were coming out. And not only did he, uh, you know, send somebody out to meet the bus, um, but not just, you know, sending the keys out, whether, uh, hey, here you go, you can get access. He actually came out to uh, start setting things up. It's pretty cool. This is Good Eats Farm. Well, thanks, Robin. Ooh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Could use a little work. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. You don't have to call it a mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Well, we'll do our best. No time is uh, a little aggressive on our timeline, but we'll get there. And here you are. Here we are. Your new home. Oh, now she's grinning. <laughs> she's kind of loud. It's got some cool shutters, though. Wood already cut and stacked. Ah, the new farmer. And this is Lewis. Hey, guy. Style and cap. Big old mustache. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Hey, Lewis. How's it going? You know, everyone's been asking about you. <laughs> they have. <laughs> How do... <laughs> I think if they've been asking about me, somebody's got a few loose lips there, Lewis. How you doing? It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Uh, clearly, it was a big deal for you because you told everyone in town, and then they started asking questions about me. Now there's all kinds of pressure. Whew. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Well, presumably. It's a good house. Very rustic. Uh, yeah, it's country. It's got a cool upper window, though. Rustic? That's one way to put it. She's like, give me the high five. <laughs> Stop. Rustic? Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Seriously, crusty? Not a good adjective for a house. Unless we've got a buildup of some kind. Don't listen to her ham cabbage. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Uh, house upgrades? <laughs> Two... Chill. It was, it was just a joke, man. We can all open our eyes and be like, yeah, it, it's an old house. Nobody's lived in it for X, X years. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at her. She's freaking out. <clears throat> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Don't you tell me what to do, Lewis. Tell me when to go. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Okay, you can do that. Townspeople would appreciate that. Well, I mean, they get to meet me. Why wouldn't they appreciate it? Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. And he 
he means it. Like he will come by every single night. He is uh, pretty dedicated, which is awesome. How many towns are does that happen? Well, good luck to Lewis. Thanks, man. Huge. I, seriously, you, you brought me out here. You enlisted help to uh, walk me over. All right. Now let's really get going. Uh, for Note for anybody just getting started, never having played this game. Um, your game will only save after you've slept for the night. So if you work through a day and you get pulled away or something, uh, don't just shut down the game. You're going to have to... Uh, have to get to that end of the day or lose your progress and have to repeat what you've already done. So, uh, we woke up in the morning. <laughs> a little creepy. Uh, when we opened our eyes, there was a Santa-style present in the middle of our floor. You received 15 parsnip, snip, parsnip seeds, not parsnip snips. Uh, here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Not only did he Unlock our house, save me a trip into town, send somebody to meet me at the thing and personally greet me and offer to buy anything that I don't, uh, I want to sell. Uh, give me a bin to, uh, to designate that stuff. He also gave me a present to welcome me. What a guy. Seriously. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Okay. Now we got to get to business. For anybody who doesn't know the game, chill and relaxing and soothing and low-key as this game is uh this clock up here and this energy bar will uh will keep you jumping through hoops like no end so this is how i like to arrange my tools uh we've got kind of a scythe to clear grasses and stuff hoe to till soil obviously pickaxe for breaking rocks uh axe for breaking logs watering can for watering and now we got some seeds, and this is all the inventory that we have right now. We can expand into these spots, but we're going to need some cash to do it. And right now we have five, the 500 bucks G's that we brought from uh, the city with us and have earned absolutely nada. Lots of stuff in the game here. Let's just go through it real quickly. If you haven't seen it, um, here's your your dress. Uh, clothes are fun late game. You can... Uh, you can definitely dress up a whole bunch of different ways and i i find it actually pretty fun it, it's it's kind of cool to uh to make some of those outfits all those shirt options you saw and probably some others um all available to get yourself in the game so oh there are rings footwear hats uh all kinds of good stuff that we can can build up to uh skills uh, there are five different skill categories in the game i am a newcomer i have no experience so oh, but look i walk Pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Um, note, clock time doesn't advance when you're in menus. That's just why we're messing around, hanging out here a little bit. Um, so we have five skills going. Farming, uh, obvious, pretty self-explanatory there. That's the experience that we get from planting and tending our crops. Mining, um, eventually, uh, and we won't have access to it immediately, a lot of this stuff is, is slow-developing content. Um, but even just breaking the rocks in our yard will give us mining experience. Foraging. Uh, there's lots of wild goodies out and around this game. And also uh, builds experience from chopping and clearing logs and trees and gathering wood stuff. So fishing, self-explanatory. Combat. Uh, there are some nasties in this game in various areas. They're not, you know, around town and all that. You don't have to worry about it. That was the, the checkbox checkbox option there's one type of farm and uh there's the checkbox to allow monsters to come out at night in your farm it wasn't the way the game was originally built um but we can certainly add that in later um for the time being though uh we're fine having the monsters where they are we'll get plenty of of risk as it goes along and eventually we'll have a wallet down here i wonder what could go in there social this is a bit jumping forward we don't know anybody but robin and lewis um but there's loads of people i'm not going to go through them yet until we start meeting some of them here's the map and it was nice of robin or lewis or somebody to provide it to us so here's here's kind of the lay of the land real quick this is our farm this is our little cabin this is the bus that we got off of so we've effectively done that a little bit um there are a bunch of different uh, things here this is kind of downtown all the houses and stuff got a few little various residents around and we're gonna we're gonna see it and do it all so don't worry um 
and uh, don't worry too much about the timing. Uh, one thing I will say, though, we'll kind of use this. So we'll be going to Piers General Store here today, um, if I can hold my mouse on it. Piers General Store, home of Pier, Caroline, and Abigail, open 9 a.m. to 5, closed Wednesday. So if you're looking for stores and things like that, they have different hours, uh, different days of the week. They may be closed. Um, so watch out. And if you're looking for an individual person and you don't know the game very well, uh, you can mouse over. A lot of the people in town um, will show up here as uh, as being people that you can go visit if you're trying to track down where they may be. So there we go. That uh, kind of covers the map bit. Uh, crafting. Tons of crafting uh, content in here. We don't have very much stuff that we can craft yet because we are total newcomers. Collections. Loads of items, recipes, all that kind of stuff we're going to explore in more detail as we go. Options. We need to set a couple right now. Um, we always want to show the tool hit location. I think it has retained that setting for me now. That was supposed to be an update in the latest stuff, but uh, check your game. That isn't uh, clicked by default, I don't think, unless they changed it. Uh, I'm playing on the PC, so nothing there. Uh, I don't know... <sighs> I don't know, any of that kind of stuff. Um, uh, show advanced crafting information. I don't really use that, but I think it shows you like what uh, what materials are needed or how many you've crafted. Um, we're not going to do multiplayer. I turn down the music. Um, it, it's still there. We'll still hear it a little bit. Let me know if you want me to adjust it. Um, I just find it, it's a little annoying after a while, as much as I played it. Um, but we'll, you know, if we need to, we'll kick it up, and that should give us enough volume to hear it if we're quiet and just listening. Uh, and we can adjust some of those kind of things. I've never really looked. Uh, I'm going to use the default fish butt, so maybe that makes them louder? I don't know. Default is fine, though. Why would we want to mute our animals? Actually, this is the dog. Um, <laughs> a lot of times I pick the cat because the dog barks all the time, and it's like, but we're not going to, we're not going to get rid of him uh we're in windowed for the uh the stream and i'm gonna keep that um i can't adjust the resolution down to match the window and i think that's where a little bit of the overlap occurs but we can do pretty well by zooming out as far as possible and you can see the uh everything pulled back a little bit and that'll help in our farm and there are zoom buttons up here, which I like to have displayed if I want to zoom in on anything. Uh, snow transparency, lighting quality, all kinds of good stuff here. Uh, you can check the rest of them. Uh, I like the game cursor, but you can have your regular one. Um, and then all kinds of, you can remap your keys and all that kind of good stuff. All right. That does it. We got our tools thing. We have a, uh, showing the tool hit location that will help a lot to save your energy and uh, keep you doing what you want to do not hitting things you don't want to uh, let's go all right last couple things we're going to get settled in here let's uh, start up our toasty fire and now i got a tv we move to the farm we want to get away from city life and the first thing we do is start tuning into the tube uh, like a news uh media junkie but uh we need to get the weather we need to know what our days are going to be like so weather report uh blah 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 blah, blah. i'm not going to read these every time uh but uh, kozu 5 is the tv channel and these will repeat every single day so you click through it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow this tells you the forecast for the upcoming day and the first day it will always be sunny and clear you're not going to get rain on the very first day uh, and you can see a little weather person on the TV there. Oh, shoot. Uh, right click. Fortune teller. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. And that's kind of okay. Um, we don't, you know, we can't really do advanced luck stuff anyway. Um, maybe that doesn't help us get um, as many goodies from the stuff we're going to be cleaning up today, but uh, we'll trade that for later when we can make more use of it. And then living off the land, this will give you little tips to kind of help you get started. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. 
This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. We haven't even planted our first crops yet, much less stepped outside. So, yeah, we're going to go. Um, but be aware, searching for wild forage is going to be huge in our first game, but it's more for feeding ourselves than anything else as far as cash just yet. So... More to come there. But uh, good tips, you know, if you don't know what's going on, that'll help guide you a little bit. And I should say real fast, last thing for now. Um, over here, you saw that little exclamation mark was flashing a bit. Um, this is our quest journal. New quests or active quests will always show up here. There isn't a way to see your past quests necessarily. Um, but... Uh, it's okay. We're you know we're just kind of working through. So as we go, the game is going to kind of guide us with some quests. There are others that we can opt into or out of. Uh, I guess we can't really opt out. They'll just expire if we don't complete them. Uh, people will ask us for stuff. Others will uh, will kind of come up on a, a time based basis. So uh, this this may fill up. We may actually have to scroll through some quests. Other times we can uh, narrow it down a little bit. But uh, we have two right now. They're both nukes. So we haven't looked at them. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. You use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop, not the crop, the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. All right. And those were the seeds that uh, Lewis gave us. So we're kind of set up to do that naturally. Uh, second is what Lewis had mentioned. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer, and we've met two, Robin and Lewis, so far. So we have 28 people uh, in and around town, and there's actually, wink, wink, a few more, but uh, we need to meet 28 to uh, complete this, this particular little quest, and we'll actually try to do quite a bit of that as early as possible. So... More to follow, but right now it is 6.20 a.m. and we need to get to work. So uh, out of here and scythe in our hand, and we're just going to start chop, chop, chopping. And that is, oh, little froggy. What's up, froggy? Go, run away. Um, so first thing, get, uh, get some of these out of the way so we can navigate. And we're not, you don't want to get overly uh, caught up in clearing. Because as you can see over on the uh, lower right, our E is for energy. And when we start chopping up logs and things, that is slowly going to be going down. We start with 270, we're already down to 264. Uh, clearing these little weeds doesn't cost us any energy, which is really nice. Uh, but to really get started, we desperately are going to need 50 pieces of wood. We can chop down trees and we can pick up logs. Chopping down trees will give you more wood, uh, but right now on day one and, and until we really get much further, um, you get a much better energy economy by uh, just picking up these individual logs instead of chopping down trees. Uh, you swing once on these logs, you get one log, right? So kind of one to one. On the, remember those little stick looking wormy things up there? We'll, we'll talk about those in a second. Um, if you chop down a tree, I don't even know how many it swings it takes on day one, uh, but it's a lot. And you will get believe it's 12 pieces of wood from knocking the tree down itself and another six from clearing the stump and while that's good you're you're not going to be on that same one-to-one -to, -one to get those pieces of wood out of the tree now later on as our foraging skill improves and as we get better tools uh, that will improve drastically and then just getting one piece of wood for one chop. If we get down to like six chops to clear a tree, um, that's way better than doing like this and getting four for five chops, right? 
Everybody good on the math there? All right, so we've got 30 pieces of wood. We still need a few more here. And this is, this is one of the things I did last night when I was kind of just brain dead and going through the motions. I um, just kept running around chopping wood, and I ended up with like 80 pieces on the first day, but I'd used a ton of energy and didn't have much left to do my crop. So uh, you don't want to go over. You just kind of want to... Uh, do as much as you need to to uh, get up to that 50 mark. And we'll I'll show you what we're going to use those 50 pieces of wood for here in just a second. And I also uh, swing through here not only because it, we can't walk through those weeds. We can walk through the grass, but not the weeds. Um, but any of these seeds, those are seeds we don't have to pay for, right? And they're random. We don't know what kinds of crops they'll be. Um, but early on here, that's anything you can get day one, huge, huge early bonus. So, uh, one more. All right, there we go. So, uh, we're not going to go for extra wood at this point. We'll need a lot more. Oh, that was great too. Need a lot more, obviously, but for now, we just want what we need. Okay. So, this tree is a landmark tree. It is there in every world that starts. And I go out two, and then I want to be three off of the end of my thing. And this is where the show tooltip location. So that's three down. Uh, that's all going to be used space. So our field is going to start right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. That will be the area of our main big field. And then I have a particular crop that I want to plant six of right here. Boom. And then here's another one of these little things. I don't know how we can see this one, but I'm going to hoe it. You see, we got some clay here, clay. It's a resource, uh, not a very very exciting resource but we'll take oh that's pretty big all right so we said we needed 50 pieces of wood and that is to be able to make a chest 50 pieces of wood we get one chest we're gonna throw that here and then we're gonna put all this extra stuff away but nine mix seeds just getting going is fantastic all right next thing clear these couple rocks it's 150 um Let's just go real quick into town because Pierre's General Store, what I showed you on the map, where we're going to buy more seeds, oh, shoot, is uh, is going to close at 5. And we don't want to waste too much time or get to miss out on that would be a disaster. Stash these for now. Um, we'll put that and that away. We know those are here. We're going to come back to use them. But let's go into town. We can water and plant our crops up until bedtime um, but we don't have all the time in the world to do other stuff so we got a daffodil as you can see it is a forage item uh, we have the foraging skill and depending on where you are on the screen that toolbar can kind of bounce up and down it's a traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift hint hint and it also gives you zero energy if you eat it so uh, there you have it uh, here's our town calendar. Uh, this is going to kind of lay out what what we've got going on. So year one, this is spring. Calendar has four seasons, just, just like real life. Spring, summer, autumn, or fall, and winter. Uh, each month is set at 28 days, so you have a seven-day week. Gift giving, uh, which we'll get into, resets on these Sundays, even though your, your season starts. Uh, so the, the calendar week starts here, but the actual gift social week starts on Sundays. Um, all these people here have birthdays and we can actually pre see So there's a little kid named Vincent. Uh, there's a girl named Haley. There's a guy named Shane, a girl named Emily, a guy named Pierre who owns a store, uh, Pam who happened to drive the bus we were riding in. And then we have two festivals, an egg festival and a flower dance. So lots of stuff going on in the month. All of that's going to be awesome, but 
uh, you know, kind of getting started. We have a full week to uh, figure things out before we have to start giving gifts. This is a... Oh, we went inside. There's a bulletin board there where you can get quests if they're available. Hello, it's nice to meet you. This is Leah. Leah. Leah, I think. Uh, Leah's doing awesome. Look at her big smile. Uh, it's nice to meet you, too. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I like spring. Um, getting out of winter. All right, and then this is Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Ham Cabbage, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store that I just walked into. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Fantastic. Thanks, Pierre. Um, a little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Sweet. And that seems to be about it. Now, we talked about our inventory. There is a backpack upgrade, which will take us from the current 12 slots up to 24. It costs two grand, and we have 500, all of which we're about to spend. So, no, we're not in a position to buy that. But from Pierre, we can buy stuff. So we already have 15 of these parsnip seeds. I don't think we really looked at it, but as you can see, uh, they will take four days to mature in the spring season. And that's four days after you plant. So we'll plant today, and then they'll be ready to harvest four days after that. So in this first week, that would be on Friday, right? Monday, day one, um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the plants to grow up. Beans. Plant these in the spring. It takes 10 days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Grows on a trellis. So things to note here. Really good anything that will keep producing. It will generally have a higher initial cost. See, it's 60 instead of 20. But um, you once those 10 or whatever days, so we'll get 10 days for it to grow up. So on the 11th, we'll get a harvest. And then after that, at X number of days, I don't know what it is for beans, like three or something like that, every third day, you'll get more beans on those plants. So uh, keep them going and you get good bang for your money. And to get started, we're going to go ahead and take six of those to fill in that separate section. So six beans and then... We already know that we have nine seeds, so there's a pretty good chance that we have cauliflowers and potatoes included in there, but I'm not going to risk it. I want to have one potato and one cauliflower right out of the gate. Uh, day one growing, and as you can see, that gets us down to 10G. We spent almost everything we had on seeds. There's nothing else we can buy for uh, for 10G, but as you can see, prices will go up. You can get fruit trees that grow in season. Uh, and just so you know, here here's cherry saplings. They're seeds for trees. They take 28 days to produce a mature cherry tree. Bears fruit in the spring. Only grows if the eight surrounding tiles are empty. And just within our inventory here, you can see if you plant the tree here, these tiles have to be vacant uh, for it to produce fruit. Also, it takes 28 days to produce a mature cherry tree. So even if we had 3400 bucks and planted it today, it wouldn't be mature until summer, and we'd never get any fruit out of it. But if you want some of these later, like fall trees, remember, you can't wait until the last day of summer to plant them. Uh, and fall is about the earliest that we can really have the cash and manage that. At some point, we'll probably have 4000 We could plant an orange sapling, but it would be way too costly in terms of all the other things that we need to buy early on. He's got a catalog, which is really handy down the road. Um, it lets you get different decorations for your house and stuff. He sells some random decorative items. Here he's got some flooring. Um, that we could change out our cabin if we had the money or wallpaper we can switch out that's actually kind of cool I haven't seen that one um, and then has some cooking supplies now we don't have a kitchen yet we have to upgrade our cabin to do that uh, so longer term for all that kind of stuff you can buy individual grass starters you can also get a recipe on how to craft those yourself that's the grass that we can walk through uh, that we were clearing a little bit with our side but not the weeds and that makes hay if we have a silo, and also animals can eat it once we have animals. So there you have it. That's the store. 
uh, kind of cleared through that. If you haven't played again, uh, I'm going to kind of, once we get through all this, I'm going to kind of play it just as I normally play the game. Uh, but just want to run through some of these kind of things. So now we've got a big load of seeds to fill out our farm a little bit. Uh, and let's run around real quick and see if we can say hi to just a few people. Uh, we got this guy sitting in front of the TV. Uh, and as you can kind of see, that's a wheelchair, actually. This is George. Mm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Huh. Well, okay. Um, it's not irritating, except for when you're mean. You were the first person I met outside I wanted to walk around. All right, we got, oh, so a couple down here. I want to go into the saloon, although we'll get there later, probably. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Uh, this is Meru. Got some glasses, kind of nice uh, styled hair. Uh, I'm Meru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, that's much nicer than George, who says it's irritating. Uh... You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Well, okay, what's going on with the town dynamic? Uh, hello. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. Uh, oh, look, little old lady. You can call me Granny, if you like. Uh, Granny Evelyn. Okay. And this, uh, this tells us about our friendship status with all these people. So right now it's zero out of 10 hearts. Uh, we're just meeting people. Nobody's going to shoot up like that. So, uh, here's granny and she happens to be married to George. Uh, hello. Hello. You must be hand cabbage, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Uh, no, I don't think she was around in the store. We met Leah. Okay, let's wander down this way. Meet this uh, gentleman. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. This is Elliot, and look at that profile. He is, uh, he's, uh, pretty impressed with his own hair. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you too, Elliot. Uh, take care. Um, let's get over this way. Got a couple houses here. And what I really want to do is clear out these weeds. They will spread. Um, oh, there's a kid. This is the Vincent, the kid whose birthday is coming up next week. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Uh, it always kind of bugs me that he's he's out here. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Well, that's cool. I hope you'll find your own work equally record equally rewarding in time. Yeah, thanks, Harvey. That's pretty cool of you to say. Um, kind of always freaks me out. Harvey is not, he's the town doctor. Uh, he's not directly responsible for Vincent, who has now <laughs> disappeared. That's a little unsettling. Uh, but it actually turns out this is Vincent's house. Oh, hello. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Um, farmer man, Haley. This is Haley. Uh, hi. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Well, hi, Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. I looked through a lot of shirts. I could only carry one on the, the bus, and uh, this is the one I picked. And I'm just going to leave now. It was nice to meet you. So this is Vincent's house, and this is, you know, he says, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, and that kind of freaks me out, until you realize that this is his mom, Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. Uh, she looks very pleasant. She's got blue eyes like me. Maybe, I mean, I guess that's blue. Not the whites of her, her eyes are blue. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Uh, awesome. Well, that's, uh, I hope for the better, not, not for the worse. Uh, so we met, oh, and, <laughs> hello. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hey, Sam. Uh, how's it going? All right. Uh, met, met your family. Here's Leah again. And we'll just kind of keep zipping this way. 
we need to get back to our farm and plant everything. So this is a big kind of wild forested area. Don't uh, locked. Can't get in there, and that's kind of a drawback with some of the stores around town. Uh, you know what? As long as we're down here, we're gonna we're gonna quick tour. <laughs> gonna try to cheat this up. Let's uh, let's just see if we can get lucky. We won't grab the wood, um, but if we can get some more seeds by any chance. More seeds. Come on, more seeds. More seeds. Um, so this kind of gives you a taste. That was just that little downtown area. This is a big wild area on the map. And we are now pretty much straight south of our farm. Uh, in kind of a woods, there's a river. Uh, just a blend of different um, areas with different stuff. But one thing that is in down here, only in the spring, are these wild onions, or spring onions. Um, as you can see, they have 13 energy and 5 health. So do da uh, dandelions actually have 25. Spring onions are pretty trash, right? But on various days, you can go down there, and sometimes those little dirt areas will be just packed with them. Uh, and they are free food for the taking. So are all the forage items. But most of the forage items um, may have one or two people that appreciate and enjoy them. So um, something to keep in mind. But we'll gladly take these dandelions this early and having those spring onions too be nice if we could get one more seed. We'd have to probably ditch the fiber. Uh, but again, for having no cost, considering that we're buying six beans and uh, cauliflower and a potato cost us nearly 500 G, you can see why uh, it's a pretty good deal. Okay, this is going to cost us a bit of energy. Um, so, um, just gonna not make it very easy to get through, but just pick my way as best I can. All right, now we're back up, coming up towards our fields. And here's what we set up. So now we're getting close on time. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go over here. These are our beans. We don't have our watering can yet. So uh, I've got three sections of five here. And I'm going to do one, two. It's going to be tough without light. I apologize. If it's tough to see, we'll uh, do our best here. Let's get water going. Two, three, one, two, three, and then over to here, we're going to do our parsnips, kind of all in this section. And then let's water those, and again, once we get some light sources, we'll be able to see this a little better. Right now, I'm just kind of going by... Um, Familiarity, but I think, you know, depending on what you're watching on, you can probably see there's a little color change there as I water the soil, and it's now 11. These were the two seeds that we dropped in, and now we have nine left. And I'm going to... Let's do... One, two... Ooh, ooh. This is where our spring onions come in handy. Uh, right click over your head to uh, to eat any of these food items. Okay, so hopefully this will give us enough to get uh, some of these in and watered. We'll just kind of go piecemeal. Um, you don't want to like over plant stuff if you're not going to be able to get to water it. You might as well wait till the next day. And then we have two left, and they can actually go there. 
All right. Hopefully, when we get the light of day tomorrow, <laughs> we'll see all that is uh, is good and done. Didn't get quite as many uh, greetings in as I would have hoped for, but getting those wild onions and, and a little bit of forage is good. Let me uh, take a sip here. I've been going about an hour or so um, with a little bit of lead-in start time. So, as you can see here... Uh, 249 out of 270. We went to bed after midnight. We went at, it was 12.30 when we got into bed. Uh, so we didn't quite get all our energy back. If you get in at 12 or earlier, you'll reset. If you don't haven't used a lot of energy or have a lot left over, it won't matter. It'll fill up or top off. So things to be aware of. So here we go. Start the day with a TV. Weather. Uh, same blurb as always. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. And that is common or given on the first the third day of your first month in the spring you will always get a rain day uh so we knew that was coming and then fortune only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you the spirits are in good humor today i think you'll have a little extra luck and that's fantastic uh we always like to be lucky and look we got some mail I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. And we actually checked that out and realized we can't come close to affording it. So thanks, Pierre. We'll see you someday. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. Okay, Willie. Uh, we'll try to do that. We have to get there by 5. I don't know if the letter says that, but you have to visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. to see him. So we'll try to do that today, definitely. Uh, now, our parsnips are in, and you can kind of match up here. We've got additional parsnips. I think these are cauliflowers, and those are potatoes. And let's just go down here. Uh, we got a little pond right here where we can refill our watering can, which is nice. And yeah, we'll just uh, keep plugging along. Now, I I set up five across in three sections. That is eventually placement around watering. Um, but for now, it just kind of helps uh, once we get out of these mixed seeds we will be keeping crops uh, set up, you know, and much later we may have all of a row, uh, five by five, not just five by three, uh, row set up for a single crop, right? It, you know, if it's a, a one that we want to have a lot of for cooking or selling or whatever, um, that's what we may do. So we'll do another quick little... Oh, what's this? You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what may be hidden inside? Uh, geodes do cost 25G to open. So we'll stockpile those for a little bit until we have a little more cash. That's what I do. Um, Long-term misconception. And I, I doubted it for years. And always just to be safe would take my geodes on the best luck days. And we're on the second highest luck day today. A little extra luck. Uh, spirits are in good humor. That's uh, number two out of the list. Okay. Um, with good luck, let's go all in on fishing. We'll, well, pick that up. I see that. We'll probably have to wind our way down, but we're starting early. We got our crops uh, watered, and tomorrow I think we'll prioritize an early part of the day on cleaning things up around the farm, spreading out the area around our fields so that uh, rocks and logs and weeds and stuff don't spread in and kill our crops as they're growing. Um, but we want to finish out our kind of tour around and meet some of these folks up on the other side of town. A stranger. Hello. Hello, Linus. Uh, Linus may have made his garment out of leaves. I'm not sure. I don't mind me. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Well, that's cool. Um, you got everything you need? You all good? You got a nice tent there. Uh, we won't just walk into his tent. That's probably rude. 
I don't know. I don't know all the culture here in Pelican Town and Stardew Valley yet, but uh, I'm gonna guess that just walking into a tent is uh, pushing the privacy boundaries. Although uh, Lewis did walk right into our cabin and uh, left us those parsnip seeds, so you know. Um, we can expect some guests along the way. All right, more daffodils. And like I said, daffodils are... Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, well, I said I was going to go all out on the fishing, then I wasn't going to clear all that. We'll get to all that. There's more weeds and stuff over here where we may get a few more seeds. Uh, right now, we're just kind of walking, though, for uh, a quick tour to see if we can find some produce. Uh, wild stuff, right? Uh, we met Harvey... Uh, let's see if we can meet Pierre's daughter in here. Uh, nobody else has gathered. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, that's right. I heard someone who was moving on to that old farm. This is Abigail with the purple hair. Caroline said, have you met my daughter? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Um, it's kind of a shame, really. Oh, I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well... I mean, I may be around farming, but I'm not there all all the time, so you're welcome. Uh, come on by. I don't have, like, no trespassing or anything posted. So no real, uh, no real changes here, but you can see, like, the wallpaper and the flooring will vary a little bit. Uh, and we can just say hi. Uh, friendship, like many games, sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure to stop by every so often. And that's kind of what we were just doing there. It's a lot of work to run a shop. Okay. Um, so as I was saying, like many games, my husband Kent is a soldier working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. Okay. Um, all right. I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. Well, I hope so. It's, uh, right? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. And we didn't end up... We, let her walk right by because I thought I was going to go back to the saloon last night. Um, here's Robin again. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Not yet. In fact, speaking of which, I walked right by your house and I didn't meet your husband. Uh, oof. Okay. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, oh, I don't think we've met Marnie, have we? And again, I know these folks. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hey, Marnie. Um... I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I tried. You were That's the one that closed at 6. Uh, here we go. This is Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Hey, Alex. I got. I'll see you around. Uh, fair enough. Okay. We met all them. Let's keep working our way towards the ocean, which is down south of us, where we met Elliot yesterday. It was right on the edge. Now, we haven't been into the saloon in the evening, so we didn't meet Clint yesterday. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Sorry, I clipped off Clint's name there. Uh, I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool. Well, thanks, Clint. This is your blacksmith shop, I presume. Uh, we'll be back to see you at some point in the future. Over here, we have a... Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. <laughs> That's awful. Can we have a caper? Can we solve a crime here? But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Uh, sure. Um, should I look somewhere? Do you have a, a treasure map or something? Okay, uh, I guess not. All right, uh, Gunther, nice to meet you. Thanks for tipping your blue cap to me. Okay, enough. Some, depending on uh, situations, they, they may repeat themselves a few times. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. And that's quality fertilizer, water retaining soil, or speed grow. Fruit trees trick holes, we talked about those. Uh, crops will die as soon as the season ends unless they grow in multiple seasons. Example, corn. Okay. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. 
All right. Uh, so a few little tips there. Uh, books, remember, when you see that little flashing thing, that's a book you haven't read, and they are typically, uh, the click is below them. So just a trick of the game. Miss Penny says, I have to read this book before I can go play. Well, you're in school, presumably. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Uh, journeys across the Gem Sea. Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, this is Jazz. She's the other little pupil. And in case you didn't get it there, Penny is the teacher. It's kind of tough to tell there when they're all sitting down. So, since they're all in there, a uh, little FYI. You can rummage in trash cans. If people see you doing it, you'll have a negative reaction. Um, but this side of town, there's fewer people walking around. So, especially early on, it's not a bad idea. Okay. Let's get to what we were trying for, which is to visit Willie. And this is a little cutscene. Here I am walking on the pier. Ahoy there, son. Er, there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I just had to give him a voice. Yar. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I uh, sold a lot of good fish. Well, you're a fisherman. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here. I want you to have my old fishing rod. Uh, do you need a spare, Willie? It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Ah! So you're kind of going with the uh, free sample approach to fish supply sales. Gotcha. Thanks, Willie. Hey, look at that. We got a fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole, and as they like to say, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, give a man a, or teach a man to fish, you fish for a lifetime, or you're fed for a lifetime. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Also, buy anything you catch. That's awesome. Especially since you're now going to be a shopkeeper instead of a fisherman. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. Uh, okay, as long as it's like a fresh fish smell, uh, you know, I think probably we've all experienced the difference. Okay, so we, we actually didn't need to go back, and I'm now going to do some fishing. Uh, this is kind of our early means to wealth. Uh, as we're getting started here. So, fishing. Uh, in a live stream environment, I can do it a lot more than I can in a YouTube. And early game, I fish a lot. Uh, once we get kind of through the first year, it's not. It, it's just economically not viable. There's so many better things I could be doing with my time. But to start, we get food uh, and we get some access to some good money. So, I'm not going to get a perfect out of this fish. It was a sardine, and it was our very first fish. Yay! Look at it. Oh, it's so good. And you can see, like the wild, whatever they were, uh, wild spring onions, um, 13 energy. So, fish vary. Quality. We haven't seen any kind of quality items, but hopefully we'll get some out of fish here today. Now, if you're just starting this game, uh, fishing when I first started was like nearly impossible. I hated it. There's two things you need to kind of know to get started right out of the game. Oh, all right. So quality, right? Let's put this up. Uh, so this fish, as you can see, has 18 energy instead of the 13, and it gives a little more health back as well. Uh, the way I look at it and the way that I play the game, I do not sell anything to Pierre or in the bin or to Willie or anything else that's not of at least Silver Star quality. There are four categories. Basic, Silver, Gold, and then Iridium, which is purple uh, colored little icons. Um, and, you know, when you kind of first start off, you're like, okay, this is basic, and then this is... Uh, 
this is good and gold is top quality, but it, the game actually treats them differently. These are like very base tier. They're kind of trash, right? Uh, if people buy these, they're going to get upset and you'll actually get more negative feedback when you're just going around in conversations because they'll say, oh, I went to Willie's and bought a fish and uh, the sardine I bought was just trash. It wasn't worth what he charged me for it. I tend to feel that that goes down as you get others. The game does uh, RNG that to some extent. Uh, I've uh, It's been many, many playthroughs since I've sold any of this kind of stuff, and still you'll sometimes get those negative comments. But you'll get a lot more of, hey, I you know, I went and bought something. I wanted something really good for dinner. Or, uh, you know, we we did this, and it tasted awesome for dinner. So you want to you wanna try to sell the good stuff, there will be loads of uses for anything, so just hang on. Trust me, you're going to want the cash, but you're also going to end up going, oh, now I have that. If somebody asks for one in the quest, you can give them these these regular quality ones, and there's no difference there. So keep that in mind. Uh, just a, a quick blurb there. Uh, we'll keep fishing. And again, we can kind of talk and look at all those kind of things as we go. So the fishing. Uh, you left-click to get out. Uh, you wait for the little fish alert. And when you're new, you really wait. There you go. Get a little exclamation mark and a noise. Now, there are times when the exclamation point is your best option by far. Uh, lightning storms have flashes and thunder and both make me falsely try to reel in fish uh, when I, <laughs> I think it's the alert and just go. Um, when you've got a fish, when it hits, you know, you have to you have to do it pretty right on top of the noise. You can't wait, otherwise you'll miss it. Um, once you get a fish on the line, though, um, you depress the mouse button to move up. Uh, you let your finger off the mouse button to go down. If you hold the mouse button the whole time, it just shoots to the top. So you have to kind of tap. It's, you know, cookie clicker kind of mechanic, right? Um... Driftwood is trash. If we don't need to throw it out because we've got so many other types of fish, we'll hang on to it. Um, but if we get better options, we'll go. And we're not gonna we're gonna miss Willie here. He'll shut at five, and then eventually he'll probably come out and fish with us. I don't know what he does on Tuesday. He either goes to the bar or he fishes. Um, now, you can get perfect. <laughs> I don't know that I've done it yet. Um, when you have no levels, that little green bar is tiny. Uh, as you go up through level 10, it will get bigger and bigger. So, in that sense, fishing becomes easier, but we're also going to encounter a lot tougher fish that shoot up and down a lot faster. Uh, they're more jiggly, uh, less likely to hold still. Likewise, the ocean is the most difficult place to fish of the very... There's uh, the mountain lake that we walked by earlier, uh, up by Linus's tent. There's the river, uh, both running through town and then out uh, where we went down to get the spring onions. And then there's the ocean. And because it, I think because it's furthest from your farm, the ocean has not only the most difficult fish but the most valuable fish so you if you're getting started and you're struggling the place that i always used to start was up at the mountain lake there are carp in that lake that barely move at all <laughs> you may have to go up but they go up that high and then don't move they'll just sit while you reel them in uh so you can get some fishing experience there uh if you're struggling in other places but down here, we're more likely to get difficult fish, and not that we've seen any yet, um, and level up more quickly um, by catching them and also get more cash for our fish. Again, so far, nothing. But we're getting into evening now. Uh, times of day matter. Weather matters uh, based on the types of fish that you could catch and when they, they come out and are available. Oh, still can't, haven't quite got... A perfect yet 
but we did get an anchovy, so we've gotten three different types of fish. Very quiet and peaceful. Just Willie and I hanging out, fishing. Showing him that I'm key. Oh. That would have been a perfect, perfect. It just didn't have to move. So one thing we should do is just come and talk to him. We did the cutscene, uh, but now we'll get a you know conversation bonus to our social. It's nice to see young folk move. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, glad you gave me this fishing rod, though. All right, let's uh, watch the time, but we'll maybe just change fishing spots. What we'd really like, you know what, let's go over here. Oh, and we didn't forage yet. Uh, never mind. Let's forage. Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> this is how this game works. All right. Uh, we want that. 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 Uh, let's eat this. Grab that. Oh, thank you. I found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. I was hoping for a little better than that. Um... See, and I probably should have tossed the tossed the driftwood. Uh, hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. This is huge. I don't know if we can see anything from here, uh, but there's more of that forage stuff off to the side there. And uh, that will help our money stuff a bit, but it costs a lot of energy to... Get uh, get that much wood, and we need wood for a lot of stuff. Just kind of doing this discreetly. All right, again, uh, nothing going on this week, and a second day with no quests yet. But cautiously say we did pretty well for ourselves. We'll stash a bunch of this, and then maybe what we'll do is chop wood down to the end of. Uh, our energy today because this is it's going to become problematic right now so fish we're going to keep everything that doesn't have a star because we want all that variety if somebody asks us for it or if we need it then let's get our scythe and our axe let's sell all these this is the bin so we just drop everything in you can get the last item out like oh i didn't want to sell that but notice um you don't then get an option to go beyond that. So, you know, if it's in there and you buried it, it's gone. Be aware. All right. Now, just use up what little we have left here. Kinda going blind here. When you've done it enough, you kind of get used to the shapes. Uh, one thing that I am risking here. Oh, let's. Uh, so this is a thing. Ham cabbage. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. So he left us a note between the deathbed and. Uh, writing us that letter he also pinned a note that didn't blow away or anything over the course of uh the time when i was growing up but this is grandpa's shrine and he left us that little note so asterisks there uh 
wait for his return on the dawn of the third year. Uh, so day one of year three, Grandpa comes back. And that's kind of what I play my game. You know, how, how far can we get? What all can we accomplish before Grandpa returns? As opposed to um, this kind of artificially uh, YouTube speedrunner introduced you have to complete the the greenhouse, which is awesome. Uh, I, oh, it's the community center. Kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Um, I push to try to get the greenhouse going by the first winter. What? Get out of my way. Got to get home now. Get these. Come on. Run, run. Oh. Oh, come on. Get. Get, get out. This is the worst. Let me home. There we go. We're going to be short on energy again tomorrow. Let's just run right into bed. Um, yeah, so... Fishing level one. We got that because we fished enough. Uh, level ones come really pretty quick. So we got our first level in fishing. We also got a little bit of cash here. As I was saying, kind of getting ahead of myself though. Um, there's a community center and there's the greenhouse. Uh, both of which uh, YouTubers have kind of made this complete the community center by the first year. And that's the bundle option that I did not check, which guarantees you'll get all the one item that isn't normally available to you in year one. Um, they will give you a chance. You still have a chance, uh, but it just guarantees that you'll you'll see it at some point. Um, we'll roll the dice, see how we do. So, there we go. Day two. I'm going to pause here and sip some coffee. Ah, good stuff. All right. So, we got rain, which is nice. We don't have to water. And we want to clean up our stuff. Let's take a look. Uh, it's beautiful and sunny again tomorrow, so we will have to water then. And what's our fortune today? Uh good humor today a little extra luck and that's very good because with the rain we want to uh, do everything we can uh, of course this goes out ahead of us but without any uh, other means we'll just go ahead and drop that in looks like a parsnip to me now while we're here with our full energy not having to water we're going to do a little bit more cleanup and this time we'll take a couple trees just strategically uh, so that i can see around my crops and not have weeds spreading close to them that i have to worry about also uh, logs and things like that we wouldn't have known that was there um, i don't know if that tree right next to the bean is a big threat, uh, but we'll go ahead and take it. Those look like weeds. That's log. That's a log. Get these while we can. Because again, 300, it, there are some, some plays where I will actually push to get that done. And if we'd had bad luck today, I probably would have opted for less fishing, more uh, tree chopping and wood gathering. But as it is, we're doing well. We're going to keep this tree, like I said, it's part of our grid. So I think for here, we are pretty well done, unless there's anything. I'm not going to get the rocks, and we have nothing else that's imminently there. Um, we do have 60 wood now, and we're getting sap, uh, which is nice from chopping those trees. Um, so I think we may get a forage update. Uh, I think we might have got level one there to start getting sap. I'm not sure. It may just be you get sap anyway from the trees. Um, for now, we're going to hang on to the logs, but I think that's all we're going to do there. Grab the fishing pole. And we're going to do another lap. We want to try to get Demetrius. Let's look. Who, do, who all do we need? 
So now that these people have names, they're the ones that we've met. And for the most part, I don't think we've offended anyone really. Oh, I can't believe I'm at Pam yet. Again, we haven't been in the, the saloon. So Shane, um, Gus, well, Shane, Gus, Pam, Demetrius, Sebastian, and the Wizard. And I haven't mentioned it here. There are single folks. Uh, this is Country Life Simulator, and a big part of the game is the social aspect. Uh, and eventually you can marry, have kids, um, all that good stuff. And, you know, as you're getting to know everybody, um, you can you can go through and see who you, you share common uh, interests with and all that kind of stuff. Um, there is no, no limitation in the sense that, you know, if you're... <laughs> As a guy, if I was into guys, uh, I can date them, uh, I can date girls, uh, I can date all of them at the same time. And however you want to play, you can go up through um, these hearts. As you can see, the single people have two grayed out. You have to get to this point, and then you can unlock further um, kind of romantic interest to get the rest of the way. If you want to play, uh, you know, with a, a kind of true love or a couple romantic interests you don't have to unlock uh these late ones if you get up to here that will count as their max happiness with you and they can stay at that level uh they when you get when you get full friendship it won't degrade right now if you know we've talked to peers at our top right we've talked to him pretty much every day i think so he's the happiest if it if we don't talk to him or give him a really bad gift, we could lose that progress. And that shows once you start getting hearts. If he got up to one heart and then we didn't talk to him for a long time, it would go away eventually. Once you get all the way up, you can ignore him at that point if you want to. And uh, it will never, never degrade back again. So uh, there you go. So uh, who do we say? Uh, Demetrius and uh, Sebastian kind of live up by the mountain lake. But Sebastian is the last of the tough guys to get a hold of, and he's more evening. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. So, uh, let's do a lap like this and hope that this hasn't become blocked again, which the game loves to do early on. Oh, extra seed, though. That's kind of nice. All right, we're still clear, but barely... So we're going to do a forage run, uh, kind of re recreate this loop, or retrace this loop. Uh, it is Wednesday. Pierre's shop is closed on Wednesdays. So if we... Oh, oh we had set up lots of these seeds. I guess this is a really good idea then uh, to come back through where we cleared uh, earlier with our scythe. Oh, this is trouble. All right, there's a dandelion. Now, uh, one of the things we're looking for, we haven't seen it yet, uh, but we'll kind of hug the water here and look for little patches of bubbles on the water surface. They can be tougher to see in the rain, uh, but once once you have a f more completely filled inventory or more slots in the inventory, being able to fish whenever you see those bubbles is good and hopefully we'll get a good example of that at some point here um, and what we'd like to do is, is really uh, do some fishing in the evening but rainy day different fish a little more challenge and those 15 spring onions are fantastic uh, here's a little uh, just info spot I guess Early on, we can't cast very far. So if you're looking for a place to get deeper water, uh, this is a good one to do it. And these are going to be river fish here in the... This is the... We're on the south side of the river. Uh, the same one that loops through town. We caught a chub. So, good. I don't want to fish too long here. I'd much rather go see some folks, try to forage, drop everything off that we got... And then go down to the ocean in the evening to do uh, the remainder of our fishing. Uh, here's Lewis. So, how's your first night in the old cottage? Oh, it was good. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved the house. 
I don't know, maybe I'm just really exhausted from all this farm work, but it seemed fine to me. I didn't I didn't notice ricketties. Um You got something I can talk to Robin about. Alright, uh with the exception of here and it's raining. You can see Haley's kinda kinda just hanging out in there, so I don't know that we're gonna get to talk to her today. She's not gonna come out and go hang out in her usual spots. One trade-off, though, is on rainy days, you can find stuff because people are less likely to be out walking around. So you have a little more chance to rummage trash cans, if that's your thing. Uh, again, we'll curb ourselves of that habit pretty quickly, but for now, we can get some big-time food uh, benefits just by chance. I mean, well green algae out uh, there, uh, but we can go ahead and eat some of these kind of things just to top back off again, and to free up our inventory. I'm not going to do anything with cola or algae at the moment. So here's Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Uh, he opens at noon, so uh, he'll be here through the evening, and folks will trickle in. Uh, depending on the day and everything else. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you. Good evening. Can I get you anything? And then he goes into his default uh, conversation, and this works as just a, a little store. We could buy a piece of bread. Um, it would wipe out our savings, so we're not going to do it. But as you can see, you can buy some recipes from him, um, increasing in expense. It'll be a long time before we get a kitchen. Uh, but you can buy foods and... Uh, recipes from him so there you go all right we are now looking for pam pam is penny's mom oh here's penny we don't have a school here but i'm doing my best to give vincent and jazz a proper education well, that's awesome every child deserves a chance to be successful i think we'd all agree with you on that jazz is very good at math and reading vincent is good at well he has an active imagination Okay, well, she's finding, finding good stuff to say even about the uh, lesser students or less studious of the kids. So, uh, we alluded to the fact that we left a job at Georgia Corporation uh, back in the city when we moved here. This is Georgia Mart. Hey, kid, name's Pam. Hey, Pam, you drove me here on the bus. Don't be a jerk, and we'll get along fine. I'll try not to. Was acknowledging that you were a bus driver? Fresh and cheap. That's the that's a description of the produce. There are loads of goodies. Take-home churro kit. Mm, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Uh, and then there's Shane. Shane is hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Fair enough, dude. Um, now... Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? This is Morris. I don't believe we met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Uh, the process of setting up a brand new membership system for our customers. Please check back soon to join. Okay, so it's not even an option yet. I talked about community center stuff. This is kind of the opposite edge of that. Um, is to go with the big box corporation store kind of deal and uh, follow their lead. But let's uh, let's check our social now because we got I think most everybody. Yeah, just Demetrius and Sebastian. Um, we may not even need both of them. I want to say there's like 29. We'll go back for that daffodil, though. You betcha. Um, a wizard is either 29 or 30 of the townsfolk. Um, but I'm kind of trying to time it. To get, oh, I still don't have any of these stuffs to clean up all this area. There's one. So all this helps our forage, and all of these are nice gifts to give to people. 
uh, well, I should say daffodils are fairly universally liked. Uh, the other forage stuff, it's very hit or miss. Some people uh, like any forage. Some people may like one particular thing, but a lot of those items will be like, well, what are you doing? I don't, uh, I don't want this. Uh, we got this dude. He's just knocking on rocks. I can't do anything about that. All right. Um, this is Robin's house. We haven't really been in here yet, so let's go in and check it out. Um, so here's Robin. Talk to her. Hey there, ham cabbage. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? Uh, it's, uh, as you said, crusty. Okay, so she's got a number of options here, and these are worth looking at. So she's got a shop, just like Piers or anybody else. She sells wood and stone resources, and considering you need 50 pieces of wood just to make a chest, buying one for 10, it's a pretty expensive way of going about doing it. But you can modify your decorations for your house, and as she does the upgrades, you can buy more and more. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen the china cabinet. That'd be pretty cool. Obviously, way outside. You can get the same calendar that's in town uh, to hang inside your house, which saves it a lot if you're wondering if it's birthdays or anything like that. Um, a workbench you can put in the midst of a bunch of chests and then have all your crafting materials in and around them so you don't have to gather everything into your inventory. Um, telephones, you could basically... Uh, <laughs> got like a number code so that you can tell Robin shop and it'll tell you uh, if she's open that day or if she has something else going on and then the the hours and uh, what they have available prices and all that kind of stuff you can get replacement TVs uh, I think we have the budget TV but you can get a big uh, big TV um, decorative stuff all kinds of stuff and then she has a lot of crafting reps recipes as well it's cooking and crafting and there is um, is a thing to get all of your, uh, to craft everything. Uh, there's an advancement for that. So we'll kind of work towards that eventually, but way, way far off for us right now. Uh, the other options that she has, she does a house upgrade. I talked about kitchens. And uh, she can increase the size of our house and add a kitchen. It will cost 10,000 G. We've made 184 so far. And you'll also need to provide me with 450 pieces of wood, which is more than the little bridge that we need to help get us that cash. Are you interested? Yeah, but uh, not anytime soon. Along the way, we also want to improve our farm. And she's got a load of different things. Coops. Uh, coop dwelling animals that Marnie sells, barn dwelling animals that Marnie sells, and you can see four and six thousand loads of uh, resources as well. Uh, she has a well. I don't think it's very worthwhile. Uh, there's other stuff we can use. Silos. Now we may get some of these built in the spring. They're cheap. They don't take a lot of resources, although we still have haven't even seen copper in the game yet. Uh, but you can kind of start these and begin filling them with hay uh, to get your animals through the winter when they can't get their own food. Uh, mill allows you to mill wheat, beets, and rice. Those make the cooking ingredients sugar, flour, and uh, rice. So there you go. Sheds, just empty buildings. But it these multiply the... Uh, terrain that you have to work with obviously you can't grow crops inside although you may have to think about that um, but you can uh, set up a lot of your other stuff storage processing all that kind of stuff can go inside sheds and there's actually two stages here you can build a shed and then you can improve it into a big shed so again lots of money uh, later game stuff fish ponds are awesome um the fish that we catch, we can relocate into fish ponds, and then they will propagate up to 10 per fish pond. You can only have one type per fish pond, but they'll give you stuff the longer you hold them. Eggs and uh, various other little goodies along the way. So we'll definitely be doing some fish ponds. Cabins is all multiplayer stuff. Um, you can set up stable. 
allows you to keep and ride a horse. The horse is included. Very nice for getting around, uh, but very expensive as well. Slime Hutch, I don't really, uh, I don't really do it. You can, um, you can make slime bell, slime balls, and uh, and sell them. But uh, I don't know. I, I make plenty of money without having to have a processing facility for animals. Shipping bins, you can have extra ones around your farm, just so you don't have to walk as far if your inventory is filling up with crops. Coops, and we're all the way back around. So, there you have it. Uh, Robin has loads of good stuff. Here's Meru. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. Uh, Meru's a bit of an inventor, science-y type. Must be kind of boring for you, though. Not at all. I get to walk around and talk to you. Oh, and then we get stuck. You can kind of pop through if you just keep going. Uh, greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, thanks for being a local scientist and father. Um... Uh, I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Meru? She's interested to meet you. I just, uh, well, I actually met her a couple days ago, but I just saw her again. Uh, thanks, though. So, yeah, Demetrius is uh, do it like kind of a research scientist. Uh, he's got his kind of lab here. These two are in a second marriage um, each. So, Meru... Uh, going by her complexion, is his daughter. Oh, uh, Sebastian is out and about. Let's go see if we can find him. He usually stays holed up in his room, but he he doesn't like sunlight a whole lot. So, well, I don't think he's vampiric necessarily. Oh, man. Where are we going to find him? He uh, likes kind of what other people tr traditionally call gloomy days. Uh, to go out and about. So you'll often find him at night or um, at times when other people aren't around. So this is why we always carry our hoe. Ooh, and we got a prehistoric artifact, and it just turned to 6 o'clock, which is as late as the museum is open, so we'll have to carry that around. Uh, Sebastian maybe down at the beach? Which would be convenient for us, except that we're almost full up on our inventory. Let's go this way. I think he comes up this way. Hoping to catch him on his way home, maybe for dinner. He may be hanging out at Sam's. He and Sam are buddies. Let's go that way. And always kind of scan in the rivers, the water edges for those bubbles. Sebastian, Sam. So Sam isn't here. Oh, Sam is in his room, but Sebastian isn't in there with him. And that's these guys that spend a lot of time in their bedrooms. Until you get to two hearts, you can't go in their bedrooms. So that's a thing. But I would really like to get this part finished off. So let's pick up. All this stuff now. Let's see what this is. Starfish. Alright, so a couple things for Gunther. And if he is down here, I thought this was like a rainy Friday deal, but. Dang it. Sometimes he will hang out all the way down there. Uh, <laughs> this is a fiasco now. Uh, we definitely don't have the time to just be running around and chasing, but Sebastian is definitely one of the annoying, tough-to-get-to people. We see him in here. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm sorry to hear that. What do you want? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to everybody in here. Hi, Ham Cabbage. Habbage. You can call me Habbage. Read anything interesting at the library lately? I did read a book. It was about fertilizer. Ah, well, uh, see you around then. Oh, you're... I'm a farmer. It was interesting to me. I need a little warm-me-up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. That's Willie's uh, bar talk. He says it over and over. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows? You might find some rare ores. The mines are behind that little landslide uh, that we walked up to with a dude hammering on the rocks. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Uh, okay, Shane. Fair enough. Sebastian, are you in here? Come on, dude. Yes! What's up, man? Oh. <laughs> Let me just have a seat. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. <laughs> oh. 
you just moved in, right? Cool. <laughs> Try to read that correctly. Uh, out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something wrong with that? He's, uh, he's kind of one of those looking to escape. All right. So we got, uh, got everybody met that we needed to. 28 people. Now our goal is to give somebody a gift. Now the daffodils work really well. Uh, let's see. Here's here's going to be our gift recipient, Leah, who is one of the single ladies. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Oh, see, you look like you need some cheering up. She's all sad. Um, and she actually likes uh, dandelions. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Uh, if we meet her in the right circumstances, she'll talk about how she likes foraging uh, for uh, food, um, all kinds of goodies like that. So... Hey, kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Uh, first of all, no, I'm not. Uh, you want to check my ID? And then Gus is still willing to sell us anything. Have we talked to Emily today? I don't think so. Never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Ooh, what's this desert you speak of? I wish I could have visited her today. Um, bus is broken, right? Uh, I wish I could have visited her too, but I uh, have a feeling it's going to be a while. Okay. So we, oh, we did well. We oh, and now we have, now we have a green completed status on our how to win friends, and we actually get a hundred gold for having successfully given a gift. And it's basically just teaching us that social dynamic to improve the friendship stuff. So let's uh, check here. Leah still doesn't have a full heart with us. The gifts don't just rocket you through, but a couple things to be aware of here. Um, you get two X's and I talked about that Sundays reset the week socially. So if you've given somebody two gifts in a week, both of these will be X'd. And if you try to give them anything else, it'll say you've given them enough, uh, wait till next week. Uh, one thing that's in here though, they've added a gift log for all the various people and it tells you their, uh, status so single, uh, it'll tell you if you're dating them or anything like that. <laughs> Look at her just walking around in a circle. That's all of them. Uh, and it tells you their birthday, when they are, and what their status is with you. Um, it uh, will go through to and talk about uh, here under, uh, I think there's like an overall, isn't there? Favorites. And I think maybe it's liked and loved there, but there's also like... Uh, uh, least favorite or hated gifts that will track those as well. And if you learn about things in conversation, it will update here. So there we go. Uh, and then it tells you, uh, you can kind of check the status, who you've talked to, who you haven't. Because like I said, if it goes too long, some of these people will uh, lose their friendship with you uh, just because you haven't talked. We totally failed to get much fishing done today. But we did well on the foraging, and we completed all the social stuff, which I think is uh, equally valid as a goal. Uh, we are still missing one type of forage yet. Uh, let's go down here, because uh, we'll chop maybe some trees if we can switch, swap out our tools. But by the time we get home, I think we'll be pretty ready for bed. So this is the tunnel uh, that we presumably came into town through. And it's tough to see here, but right up on this wall in the dark, there is a little box. There we go. It's a battery-powered lockbox. Unfortunately, there's no battery in it. Uh, it hasn't even updated yet, but once we get access to batteries, then we can come back and try to unlock that little box. So keep that in mind if we ever find a battery. Da, 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 da. Now, getting late. Uh, but we got more of that good forage, and look at we got five daffodils to hand out as presents. Uh, a couple dandelions for food. We're going to sell this, and I'll show you uh, why here in a second, but everything else we're going to hang on to. Boom, 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 boom. Pull that. Let's do this. Again, what 
the problem here is that those will all harvest at or be ready for harvest at different times. Uh, I think we can get away with this. We'll be up a little late, but. Gather up all that wood. Take that back. And we may have missed one. I don't think 17 is the total for one tree. I think it's 18. Okay, so here we go. Level 1 foraging. Let's tell ourselves that chopping down that tree was uh, was what did it for us. So our axe gets more proficient. We get a little bit more efficient as we use it. Less energy per chop. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Uh, so maple trees drop uh, maple seeds. Oak trees drop acorns. Pine trees drop pine cones. And there's a few others out there we'll find out about. We can craft wild seeds, um, and we can craft field snacks. I don't really do the field snacks. If you get stuck or if you aren't strong at fishing, you can trade out your seeds. Uh, it takes one of each of those three kinds to make a field snack, and that'll give you like 45 energy. Um, generally doesn't become too big of a deal for me, though. Uh, but like for gathering the wood, it can be a big help. Okay, uh, weather, clear and sunny tomorrow. Fortune, good humor, a little extra luck. We're getting a lot of that. And living off the land. This one's for all you folks in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. And we've already been making use out of that. So, good stuff there. Now, let's go put these away we'll do our watering and then we'll kind of figure out what we want to do with our day so as you can see now we have a little more clear visibility of our crops um, we have one more day until our first parsnips are done and that will be Pretty good to have parsnips. Okay, so uh, uh, we could fill that up, but I think what we're going to do today, we've done some fishing. We could still use the cash very badly, but I think with our spring onions here, we want to get uh rocking on the wood so oh man hate to do this but we've got too many choke points too so we're just gonna have a a kind of farm day and this is uh, primarily just if we get stuck with just stones usually if you have the two especially early uh, before they've had any chance to spread you can kind of work your way around with two of the three tools and then have more inventory space. I don't know why I'm chopping down this tree instead of logs. We're going now. Alright, so here. Ah, come on. Log, log, log. Uh, we got a sapling there, and that's kind of unfortunate. If possible, try to avoid... Uh, because those will grow up into big trees and, you know, eventually we're going to be using seeds to plant trees. Uh, that just saves us a lot of steps in the process. So, But time is another fact. You know, if you're spending a whole bunch of time trying to position yourself to perfectly take out or avoid <sighs> taking out a sapling, uh, you're Kind of ask yourself, how worth it is it? I do. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, hopefully, we've clear, cleared paths to. More of these little logs. Uh, these are all hardwoods. Uh, at some point, we'll probably accidentally 
chop one and it'll tell us we need an improved axe to be able to break those. Same with the big rocks that we passed, like that one. Uh, I need an improved pick to get those. We are getting more seeds for these though, and they're not costing us energy, which is double bonus. And here, another place where you gotta go so far out of your way, it's better to just get the pick. And we got coal out of that stone, so good stuff there. Unlike some games, like say Minecraft, uh, can't just shop through. one of those saplings. Uh, you can't just use, like, a pickaxe, you know, like the, the old crafting table when you're first getting started in Minecraft, right? Uh, you may have only made a wood pick to get stone, and you used a crafting table, so to pick it up, you may just sit there and swing your pickaxe at it a few times. Uh, here, you can't do that. Uh, you've got to use the right tool for the job, so if you hit stone, uh, if you hit stone with a wood axe, or wood with a pickaxe, um, it's not going to do anything, but you will waste energy doing it. Uh, here. Oh, and we don't even have room for it. Great. How are we doing on time? It is 12.20. I don't want to spend all day uh, out here. But by clearing this, you give... Uh, the opportunity for more stuff to uh, sprout up just randomly. It will, uh, the game will generate new stones, new logs, all that kind of stuff, the longer uh, spots sit idle. So until we've really filled up the area with our own placed items or fields or whatever, um, not a bad idea to keep it as clear as possible and get extra extra chance. And then, as I said, let's spend the energy to improve this so we don't find that we're closed out. Like I said, uh, new stones and logs and everything can just generate. And they will pick... <laughs> Totally, uh, totally projection, right? But it always feels like they will try to go in the worst possible places uh, when they do. You just don't notice them when they're not, when they come up in convenient places. But like, now here we've got two wide. If we notice, oh, it, and it will pull <laughs> that first time to try to tell you, it'll it'll go like, oh, if it was close, we'll say that you hit that rock. Uh, your pickaxe isn't strong enough to break this boulder, and so we have to upgrade it. Uh, same with these stumps. Um, we just have to wait, and I will clear a couple of these stones just so that if we're coming back at night, we're not getting stuck. And right on up through the field. And now we are out of energy. So, good forage round. We got another 67. As soon as this starts to get uh, congested, which now that we're getting seeds, uh, uh, I'm sorry, tree seeds, acorns and uh, maple seeds and all that, uh, that will become a big problem. Let's get this. Let's do some of these. Let's see, you know, 13, uh, we can kind of two thirds maybe fill up energy. we have here which is good being able to uh to get that extra wood is really nice and we'll see i forgot to look at what our total was after we added those 67 what are we at, like 220 or something maybe we chop a few more trees because that forage would really help Okay, that's it. Uh, now, water can. Get 
farming is huge. Uh, and I want to keep this bit. How many do we have? Seven. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want to keep my five by five over there for all parsnips. We'll make this middle one all random. Now we need to water again. And there we go. Got a nice mix. Potatoes, uh, parsnips, and I think that's a cauliflower in there. All right. These are all done. We, have, we only have 172. I don't think we can get there. So we'll spread that out over a couple days. Let's take this. Now I did fill up that energy, though. Uh, that's all right, though. Let's take these two things. We'll go down and see... Hopefully we hopefully we make it to Gunther's in time. Uh, while I'm running, I'm gonna take a sip. Oh, maybe we'll get a quest too. Come on, give me a quest. One that I can actually do. Nope, nothing. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Okay. Oh, and I forgot. About, oh, I didn't bring any of those daffodils. Hey, Haley. I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all of last year's styles to make room for the, the new ones. Okay. Um, I only have one shirt, so no th no throwing clothes out for me. It would get a little chilly on those spring nights. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Speaking of which, that's where I'm headed. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Yeah, Penny's a, Penny's a dreamer. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I got carried away there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Penny Penny let slip a little bit. She's not exactly uh, in love with her current circumstances. Let's go say hey to Sam here. Clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on blue raspberry sauce. Maybe I'm just hungry. Yeah, growing boy. Needs, uh, needs that food. All right, we're going to make it here. And now we get a little cutscene uh, with Gunther. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. It's not really a collection, then. It's kind of just shelves. This is in case... If you come down with just a, an item, you won't get that conversation we had at the counter. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Uh, yeah. Seeing it. Remarkable. Yes, it is. It's very old. <laughs> Let's just check my volume on the stream. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little worried there. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. Hmm. Oh, he's always tipping his hat. Like, it was nice as a first-time gesture, but, uh, dude. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking breaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Gunther, um, with a few qualifications, absolutely. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I will do so, sir. Um, there are a few things that uh, you definitely don't want to give them the first ones that you find. We'll we'll cover those when we get to them. Uh, but by and large, it's a pretty good process. So, uh, gnarly old digging tool and starfish. And there we go. Uh, we brought a couple things into the garden. Or the garden. The museum. And we get a new... Uh, quest completion there, one we didn't even really know we had, but uh, archaeology. We delivered an item to Gunther, and we get 250 G just for doing the first one. Pretty good. All right. So that was well worth the time. There's another book there. We'll get back to it. Uh, I don't worry about each and every book as they show up. There's a whole shelf full, and we'll get to those. But now, I think we're going to make the best use of our good luck time that we can. 
by coming back down to fish some more. Um, and let's go over to this side this time. Just mix it up, you know, keep the keep the fish biting, keep oh give Willie his space. Now I don't think we can reach it yet, but I like aiming for uh for the various things. I don't know if it really helps or not, but in real life, you know, fishing over a, a log or something like that where a fish might hide is a pretty good strategy. And I got my line to shift over to the left like that by hitting A while it was in the air. Oh, missed the perfect again. Sardine. And this may tell us if we get up to level 2 by seeing our cast extend a little bit further. There's a perfect. Perfects and uh, max casts get you a little bit more experience. And you can see with the perfect, we got a little, little better quality. That's not a given. You can have perfect fish that are not high quality, but uh, it certainly doesn't hurt. And this is, is this our first treasure chest. All right, so here's the deal with treasure chest. You want to get your green bar on the right up as far as you can because when you're not on the fish, it's falling. Uh, you have to put your little fish bar over the chest until its little timer fills up completely, and then you get the chest and you get stuff inside. This one just happens to be one of those geodes. And uh, inside the geode could be anything from clay to uh in that there's a couple tiers in those um you might get some iron ore certainly copper ore some coal coal is probably the best thing you can get out of those and a bunch of minerals that you can donate directly to uh, gunther or sell or craft with so definitely good good reward there there's some that are pretty junky <laughs> sometimes you'll get just a mixed seed or a piece of bait and pretty quickly here, we're going to get past the point of wanting those mixed seeds anymore. And then we'll either just sell them, or usually I just have a chest and just dump them in uh, with a bunch of other seeds, thinking maybe someday I'll plant those. Trash. Straight this time. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of good. So hold it down to go all the way up quickly. And then you got to break uh, just by slowly tapping the up button a few times as you're falling. Otherwise, when you hit the bottom, it'll bounce and you'll run out of all your time before it even settles back on the fish. There we go. Mixed seeds. Not uh, not awful for us right here, but uh, never super exciting. You can also fish by the rock here. Come on. All right. Oh, we got uh, got some sellable fish. That's good. One eatable fish and a piece of seaweed and a bunch of other random stuff that we can hang on to. I don't know if we're going to get those seeds in the ground. We probably have time to. And I think I will fill out that middle 5x5 uh, five five area. Uh, you know, as long as, as long as we're getting stuff to dump in there. So, 
We have... Ho, ho, ho. Seed, seed, seed. Store, 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 store. Sell, sell, sell. And we need the water for these three. And a little bit more cash. Again, we haven't seen any of the good fish. Kind of getting stymied on those. And 11.30, we'll go ahead and go to sleep. So 214 on the fish. Here you got a little breakdown of them. Uh, you can see the gold stars. Uh, it's not a huge jump in money, but the more value you get in fish, the more uh, the more each of those jumps will represent. So um, we'll just keep hoping for level ups on our fishing as we go. Now, this should be our parsnip day. Uh, weather forecast. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow and neutral day. So nothing too exciting, but let's grab the watering can. And we got our parsnip. That's good. We actually got a few extras. And let's just go over here because I don't... Oh, so ho... We'll pick up seeds. We don't want stuff growing up around here. And eventually we'll put some borders around to keep that from happening. But right now it's not worth the energy or the... Um, time. Uh, to gather those resources. We need them for other projects. Now, this is where we're going to tragically see all of our coins evaporate that we've worked so hard to get. Okay, so we have now a 25 area plus three more, so we need 29, hopefully we can afford that, uh, parsnip seeds. And we have one extra maple and two acorns. Let's go ahead and grab those, do that. I'm going to grab the scythe this time. I'm also going to grab one daffodil. Okay, we kept this tree for a reason. We want... Uh, this to be a little grove of trees, and I'm just going to plant these up, one, two, three, boom, and one, two, boom, so we have uh, oaks, okay, value Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake, I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant blah, 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 uh, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. Uh, we apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, the guy we met at uh, the Jojo Mart, Jojo Customer Service Representative. So, um, if you played this game, you know Jojo is kind of the, the cash-only, don't-care-about-the-community option in this game. <laughs> in the, the one that didn't get recorded, I talked for a long while about how I think Joja gets a really bad rap. Uh, let's talk about this, though. Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. Scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reaching farming, Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. So uh, we'll have to do that uh, once our farming level goes up. 
raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town in exchange for raw materials and money. She'll construct new buildings on your farm, like a coop. We saw that, or a barn. So you can raise the animals. So we have a goal to build a coop. We're not going to do that for a while. And then we're completed with getting started. That was to plant the parsnip. And we get 100G for uh, watering every day until it, it popped. So good job. We did that. Got a couple new stages to go through. And we will grab that. We will do this. Now this was a neutral day. Um, got a lot of stuff to do. But oh, now we get a distraction. And uh, we'll just follow along with the cutscene here. Oh, hi there. Hey, Lewis. How you doing? What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Um, maybe cut the vines? Dude, you got stuff growing out of the ceiling. Used to be the Pride and Joy Town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Well, that's kind of too bad, but... <laughs> Can you blame him for not going into the vine building? Uh, but listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, uh, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Ugh. Let's go inside. Alright, I'm coming. <laughs> Are we sure we want to go inside? Is it safe? Lewis, is it safe in here? Whoa, we got little huts? Again, more vines. Seriously, you, you can't let children go in here to hang out, dude. They're safer watching TV. They get, like, infections, parasites. What's going on? Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Well, they're pretty good little builders. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Ah, uh, green dude. What? He looked just like the one on the mantle of Grandpa's bedroom. What's the matter? Are you ill? No, oh, dude. I saw a mantle, dude. You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. There's another one. Turn around, old man. Quick. Oh. oh. Too slow. You're worrying me, Havage. <laughs> Havage. Uh, <laughs> look, I think I'm going to go ahead home. I need some lunch. Dude, are you pranking me? Seriously, you're pretending like that didn't just happen? Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you'll have some, Maybe you can help catch a rat if you have some extra time. I'll give it a shot. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Alright, player knowledge and the fact that I've played this game before tells me that I need to come in here. And this is just kind of a time saver because we have to do it to advance. Uh, there is a little golden scroll here. Obviously we can't read it, but it's got a cool little tree on it. A nice border, decorative. Um, hmm, interesting. Alright. The rest of the rooms we are definitely going to see a whole lot more of. So don't you worry, uh, we'll do a lot more exploring, but we got lots of stuff to do, including uh, go see Pierre, because we need, uh, need seeds. We need 29 seeds if we can afford them. To get an extra daffodil, that's good. Oh, and we finally, finally have a quest. We got two days until Lewis's birthday. Buying one green algae at three times the market value. Please deliver it to me. Uh, Sebastian. Algae's kind of trash. Uh, you know, it's kind of fishing trash, but you can eat it, and you can, uh, it's needed for a couple different things in the game. Uh, so, even at three times, uh, you're only going to get 45, but Sebastian will be thankful, and that helps our friendship. They really like the, uh, uh, when you do the tasks for them. No surprise there. Alright. Business has been slow since Jojo moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. Yeah, that's 
It's true. So I, <laughs> I'm not going to do the same big rant that I did. Um, but I think I think Joja really gets kind of an unfair rap uh, because you know so many YouTubers, so many people that play the game, and, and of course they're kind of the the bad thing. Joja, distinguished from Morris, even though they're the big guy, they seem to be doing things right. Uh, so far, what we know about them, we worked at at their office, and like I said, the the cubes kind of look nasty, but it's very uniform, and I, I'm wondering if that isn't just uh, decor, like the material. You know, sometimes they have like a fake uh, formica kind of thing for your desktop, and I'm wondering if it's something kind of like that, a stylistic choice, as opposed to like, you know, some spilled thing. I hang on to this just in case. So far, we haven't gotten uh, too much better there. Now... We know Joja cleared the mine, so I think I'm going to do this and this. We're going to take one more detour before we come back here again. Oh, it's all very... We get a couple really busy days in a row here. Just say that. And we need to chop more trees. And we need to fish more. But... Uh, this will drive me bonkers until I get it done. So I want to... Not that there's anything. We've had such good luck with mixed seeds, if you call that lucky. Um, this is really in the game I do. Uh, I don't want to leave that just sitting. And now there's the chance that more like... Da up here in the spring, it's pretty much daffodils is what you're going to get. Uh, but there's better chance that those things will grow now that the weeds are cleared out. So, and I also knew that Haley was coming up here, and I really want to give her a daffodil today. Hey, Haley. Oh, for me? Thank you. Oh, look, she's so happy now. Haley is ignoring you. <laughs> I'd give you another daffodil if the game would let me. Um, all right. We did all that. So now we're going to grab... Uh, what do you want? An algae? And we're going to take some of this stuff on up to uh, where that landslide was, because JoJo let us know that they cleared it. So we'll stash away all of this. We'll put that away. We'll switch this into here for now. Um, I kind of do... We don't have an algae. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we may get one here without fishing, so let's go with that. <laughs> Try for that. Tomorrow, uh, you never know what's going to come. Maybe we'll do some fishing and see if we can get an algae then to give to Sebastian, but I'm not going to go. It's only 45G. I would love to get the uh, affection bonus from him since he is tough to get a hold of. Uh, until we can get into his bedroom, and that quest would really help get us move towards those first two hearts. So we'll prioritize algae a little bit, but got him away. So our our cash took a big hit there buying those twenty nine seeds, but we should get a nice boost to our farming having already harvested uh, that many parsnips. Uh, Lewis has had some issues with his tent getting trashed. We're not going to destroy it. And here we go. This is uh, what they were blocking. This is going to be the mines. And here's our cutscene to introduce us. Marlin, who we haven't met. Hmm... I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Kind of wish I could get Marlon's facial hair. He's got my hair. He's kind of, kind of got the look here, but uh, it'd be cool. You got to combine like a Lewis and a Clint. 
Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. <laughs> Here, take this. You might need it. Okay. Ooh, sword. You received a rusty sword. There we go. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventures Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Fair enough. Thanks, dude. Alright. So, here we are. Let's quick reset to where I think that should be. So, we got a couple things in here. An elevator that doesn't seem to be working, and a ladder. So, no elevator. Let's take the ladder and start bashing rocks with our pickaxe. Now, unfortunately, it's a neutral instead of a good luck day. Uh, down here, luck affects how many rocks have ore in them and how often you might find ladders. This is what we're looking for down here, though. Copper. Uh, we are also looking for these little boxes where you can get any number of random little thingies. But as he said, ore is not the only thing we'll find. We also will find little monstery things like this green slimy guy. And... Uh, this green slimy gal. Actually, I don't know. Uh, there are supposed to be genders associated uh, based on whether or not they have the little dongle on top of their head. So, watch out for that. Uh, and every once in a while, you will see uh, slimes in young love <laughs> getting to know one another. And we're just loading up on uh, goodies while we're down here. Now, our sword is trash. As you can see, we are swinging and swinging and swinging at monsters that will eventually be like one shot, look at them, and they're gone. And some of the stuff in our toolbar is, at this point in the game, still pretty much trash. There you can see, you can get copper sometimes, just from brashing rocks. But uh, you're much better off seeing the exposed ore. And here we've got some more barrel. Oh, oh, oh. More barrels. Got uh, some more ore. Oh, only one. Um, now, I don't think we... We didn't see a ladder yet, did we? So... This is going to be painful. I was Earlier I was bashing a few of those silvery rocks or gray rocks. Um, they take two swings. A little more likely to have extra stone or coal in them. Uh, but for the energy and our lack of it... Uh, there we go. Okay, one more down. We're now at level four. Oh, we did get the algae. That's good. So I have to remember not to eat that, which... Okay, we got slimed. Uh, sliming slows us down. Um, and doesn't let us maneuver as well uh, around them. Good. We want our ladder. Now we don't have to worry about bashing extra rocks. Uh, but we still want to go kill as many bugs as we can. Just for the combat experience, remember, that's one of our stats. So, that's why I'm going around. And Okay, now we got to start prioritizing. Slime is monster loot. You can sell it. You can do some crafting with it. And, like, you can build the, the slime hutch on your uh, place and harvest slimes to gather it. I think it's just mainly for selling. I think you can compress it into slime balls or something. Not really my deal. Um, bug meat is the key ingredient in bait. Um, and you can also craft some stuff with it, uh, but for now, we don't need that. And sap, good for fertilizer, but uh, right now we can't justify carrying that. We would much rather have quartz. And here, copper, we have 24 pieces already, and that's really good for day one. And we will take these extra quartz. Gunther is going to want one of them, uh, but then we have two extras of our own. 
And here we go. Uh, we had that quest to make it to level 5 of the mine. We did that, and as you can see, we got an elevator. So the way the mine works, if you go back up any of these ladders, you can leave the mine, but you lose... Um, you lose the ability to come back to them, except every fifth level where there are elevator stops. So when you come down to the mine, you want to try to make... Um, make runs where you can between the level, fifth levels. And I think for our first day, that's awesome. Uh, we got as much copper as I wanted, and we got that algae to give to Sebastian, who will hopefully be out here. Oh, actually, he's down at the saloon, because it's Friday, so let's go there. Grab that. We got an extra inventory spot. Uh, we're still looking for one more forage that I haven't even seen yet. Alright, here we go. Friday nights, uh, social hour is on. It's the weekend, everybody comes out, including a few of the kids. Sam and, uh... Sebastian here play some pool. He's not very good. Uh, and Sebastian's like, yeah, should I give him a shot? Nah, I'm good. Uh, well, here's your green algae. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. Now, FYI, if you just give people randomly algae, they're going to want to punch you. <laughs> they will not appreciate that gift at all. Um, but here, he uh, now he's just in his loop. Uh, Abby here chills out and watches them. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. It's almost over. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. That's all right. I do too. Okay, so Sebastian's deal is done. Uh, he gives us the 45 gold and he's thankful. And here, oh, people are leaving. Sebastian now has a heart. If we get two, we can get into his bedroom. And as he's one of the people that spends a lot of time behind his bedroom door, it's uh, a pretty good thing. Now... We'll try to catch a few of these people before they wander off. Be careful not to stand right next to a garbage can when you talk to them, in case it mishits. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Uh, don't tell her I said that. She's right here, dude. You met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. I just gave him a green algae. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. He's my best friend so far. Have a good night, guys. And the kids, too. Abby has her normal conversation, but these guys, um, they it will count as an interaction, even if they don't say anything, but now now we can actually have their just going around town normal conversation. Uh, I don't really know you. Okay. Uh, I gave you algae. I'm the algae guy. Did I ever tell you we used to live in the city? Uh, no. What's up, Sam? There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. Well, I used to live in the city, and I left. So I think we know which way I lean on that conversation. Don't you have work to do? No, it's Friday night, dude. Get off my case. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Depressing, huh? No. <laughs> You're a business owner. You should be proud of that. I've been working all hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday night. We may have already gotten that. That's repeatable. Willie, too. Handling his salty fish all day makes him thirsty. Whatever he's got to tell himself. Uh, Lewis. It's nice to see you socializing with the town folk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. Yep. Uh, Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. She's uh, sharing a drink with Lewis. Okay, that's fair. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. I don't apparently have much to say to you either. Fresh air of this valley is good for the body and mind. And that booze. A quick stroll outdoors always invigorates me. I love walking outside. Uh, recommend you do that on breaks uh, between. Uh, here in the winter when the daylight hours are short, either embrace uh, embrace some nighttime strolls or uh, try to get those in before the sun's down. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. And Gus, business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased Friday nights are always banging for him. Emily, ah, spring the season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. All right. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Uh, colors. But yes. 
job, Emily. All right, so we talked to everybody. That definitely will help us out. And for the moment, nobody's around. Oh, oh what do we get? An acorn. <laughs> um, okay. So here we go. Uh, let's get back home. We got uh, got some good stuff. And, and honestly, getting to level 5, getting... The 26 copper ores is going to be big. You guys will see that. And uh, getting that little bit of extra bonus with Sebastian is nice. Now, uh, I need one of these for Gunther, but I'm going to uh, sell two uh, just because I can get a little bit of cash. And now our inventory starts to really... You know what? Let's sell this slime, too. It's not, not worth much, but... Uh, I don't want to store it. Uh, 11 o'clock, we have... Uh, let's use our pick, since we have a little bit of energy. Just uh, kind of come through here. Clean up some of these stones. Maybe get an extra piece of coal or something. And you can see they're kind of... I don't know if those are new or not, but they're kind of encroaching on our field area there, so... Just tidying those back every once in a while helps. All right, and now let's go get a full night of sleep and be ready for Saturday. And we get level one farming because we harvested all those parsnips. So our uh, water can proficiency gets better and our hoe proficiency gets better. And as the quest indicated, now we can build scarecrows uh, for our crops. We can also make fertilizer, which is really good. Uh, we got level one mining. Pickaxe gets a little more efficient, and we can craft cherry bombs. And we get 50 gold, I think, for the two quarts, and five for the piece of slime. Oh, all in all, not too bad. Got to make up that seed deficit, right? But the good news, we didn't have to eat any of our parsnips. We still have 18 of those, I think. Um, your number one source for news, weather, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's clear and sunny. And Fortune is very displeased. Okay, well, uh, sounds like a heck of a day to chop some trees down. But we got a lot of running around to do. And hey, here's Clint. Uh, hi there, good morning. I don't know if he had... I don't know if that's as big as Marlin's mustache. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Okay. Oh, look at those. They look complex. Learned how to craft a furnace. Okay. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. All right. We oh, gotcha. Okay. Here, my sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Emrasmodius wizard. Okay. And he was locked. If you go over to his tower until that point, until you get that letter, it's locked. You can't go in. Uh, Marlin here, the guy that gave us the sword. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer's spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my Adventurer's Guild. Be careful, Marlin. And we probably got close to that. Uh, I don't think we would have gotten a full 10 yesterday, but uh, definitely killed some slimes. And unfortunately, none of those count. we got to start after receiving that letter. So we'll have to go back and get more slimes. But um, well, I guess our combat didn't go up either, fortunately. So we'll... We'll deal with them. Um, but, once I, <laughs> I'm so in a hurry to get the watering done. Um, a little later in the game, I actually, if you get really bad luck, it actually kind of works out okay to go to the mines. Um, because you can work combat. It's tough to find the ladders. Uh, you know, it, you'll have tons and tons of rocks and one ladder in the whole level, right? And you've got to just kind of keep looking and looking and looking until you find it. Um, 
but you'll have a lot more monsters too. So if you're trying to um, improve your combat, it's a good time to go. Uh, you, or if you're looking for monster drops, that kind of stuff, all good reasons to go on bad luck days. But we're not going to do that. We are going to put this away. It is Saturday. We do need to uh, get Haley, but let's get the axe out and start chopping. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Let's actually take all this, but let's swap out the scythe. Let's go way south. I should put this away. Let's do a forage loop first. We'll try for more logs out in the forest. See if any new ones have spawned or ones that we previously missed. We'll talk to the wizard. We'll uh, hopefully get some more food. Maybe find a daffodil down here, although it's most often the wild horseradish and... Uh, dandelions down this way. But maybe we'll get some... Hey, Willie. Let's talk to you, because you're kind of out of the way. If a local, local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop's stock. Fair enough. Uh, so we'll go do the loop. I notice down here you don't get the, the logs or any of that, but you do get these onions, and you can also get uh, forage stuff. You can chop these trees as well. We're not quite to needing to do that until the logs are all gone. Um, but these trees will always grow back in the same spot. So if you chop them down, you don't even need a uh, maple seed or an acorn or anything to replace them. You just chop them down and eventually they will come right back up again. Uh, you know, it takes a season or two. Uh, but you kind of have a renewable source of wood that you don't have to manage there. You just let them do their thing. And we'll be making use of that soon enough, but for now, we want to make use of these logs. And a few of these at least hopefully have spawned extra, and then I want to... Oh, no. Get all this cleared out so we don't get stuck as much, especially at night. Come on, what? I don't know what happened there. I don't think I hit four, and I don't know how it... Uh, Kind of spin wheeled over to. That's a bush. If you're going to get hit by crows, they will come out in the morning. Like when you first walk out, you'll see the crows sitting there in your fields chewing on the plants. After that, you're kind of safe until uh, the next day. So, And of course, it's Saturday, so no, no traveling merchant for us. a bad luck day we've had decent results but no forage if you if you notice there and that may be because we hadn't cleared out much of this stuff as we were but now we should have rectified that a little bit okay cleared out 
let's go see our buddy. Soon to be buddy. And this is our wizard. Ah, come in. Got your letter. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the cell on seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred sh... Uh, you get the point. And you, Ham Cabbage, the one whose arrival I've long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. Bloop. It's one of those little dudes. Grandpa had one on his mantle, and uh, I saw some in the, the deal. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yeah, starting at Grandpa's place. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Okay, send them back. I'm not sure what they've, why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. That's good, because they kind of look like those slimes in the thing. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. What? Uh, can I sit in the chair? Get some candles? Uh... Are those supposed to be books? I don't know what these thingies are. I found the note. <laughs> that was quick. Hey, if you long for saw my arrival, why don't you just go see the scrolls? Language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Ooh, that's good. Let's say we, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to run around. I can't move. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm new here, dude. I don't... <laughs> aha! Well, aha uh -huh yourself, dude. What do you got? Come here. Uh go where I want. Between Lewis making me go to bed my first night here and you tell me where... My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? <laughs> yeah, something. Here, drink up. Let me... Uh, let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Anyone listen at home? Don't. <laughs> if, oh, but we do get energy, which is nice. I always forget about that. Comes at a cost, though. Uh, that's not the energy you want. Oh, uh, wit, wit, Rasmodius? What? Are you seeing this? Nobody can see the green guys. Can you see the green trees? There's green trees. And this is why you don't take drinks from strangers, particularly if they're in bubbling green cauldrons. No matter what ingredients of the forest are there. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of Junimo scrolls. Or you hallucinated a lot, and uh, now you're going to go ranting about forest magic, and people are going <laughs> to... Um, yeah, we got a, a place. So, you can just come back in here and get a little more... Uh, conversation. Ah, yes, I predicted your arrival a long time ago, young ha Habitch. Uh, however, your fate is ultimately in your own hands. Um, okay. Well, I guess you haven't first seen a lot, dude. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got a couple more things. Crazy. I thought we got tipsy from that, but we aren't. Did that change? Any Stardewers out there that know? Let me know in the comments. Uh, let's get
catch these up. So we got to level five in the mine. Uh, now we can get to, now our goal is to get to level 40. So a big increment jump there. Um, and again, elevators every five. So that will be another uh, multiple of five. Forging ahead. If you're going to keep mining, you should build a furnace, craft a furnace, and then that will have a next stage to craft, forge a copper bar. Uh, just teaching us game mechanics, right? And initiation, this is the kill the 10 slimes, and of course, uh, the ones we killed yesterday don't count. So, there we go. Um, we have now... Uh, well, we can kind of show it, maybe? Yes. Okay, so we don't actually have to go there. Let me show that again. So right up here, uh, this looks like that golden scroll with the tree, right? And it's community center. This will show us um, various items that the community, the Junimo want. Uh, those are the, the items that they, gifts from the forest or whatever that they're looking for. So uh, the craft room is the first one, and there's a spring foraging bundle. Let's take a look at that. This is the item we haven't seen yet, leeks. We have gotten lots of daffodils, we've gotten wild horseradish, and we've gotten dandelion. And that's part of the reason why we always want to hold on to one. If you put uh, one of each of these in, they'll give you a little reward and also open up additional rooms that where they need more items. And for each big crafts room, there's a big reward that goes for completing all of these little things. Uh, so that's kind of the uh, main first stage of the storyline of the game. Uh, you don't have to do it, uh, but there are some pretty big bonuses for some of those various accomplishments. All right, uh, let's talk to you two. Is it just me or does Abigail have an unhealthy interest in doom and gloom? I haven't noticed. She said she was in a bad mood one day, but otherwise, I don't know. Maybe I'm just told to understand. Eh, perhaps. Hi. Need something? No, just uh, I'm glad you said hi. Hi back. All right. Uh, so the last thing we really wanted to do on this unlucky day is come up here, see Haley again. I don't have the dick. <laughs> This is how this game eats up all of your time. I really thought we'd... Oh, uh, maybe we didn't because we were going to go forage. And I thought we might find more horseradish and daffodils and stuff down there. Okay. Put you away. All of you guys away. Let's go do this. Uh, we'll need... This. Half of these. This. All of these, and let's just start there. Boom. Do that. This away, and one of those. Furnace. Copper. Two scarecrows. Two stones. All right. Now, five, one, two, three. So this is the center of our field. And we'll put one of our scarecrows right there. He's going to look over all these crops. And then we're going to put one here in anticipation that in future seasons we'll have a lot more stuff here. And it goes one, two, three, one for a path. One, two. There, right? Bean path, bean block. I think that's good. And we can always move it if we need to. But there. Scarecrow up. He's going to protect these beans. And this one's going to protect everything that we put in here. So we are much better off there. But now our wood just got devastated again. Uh, but before we do else, that completes that quest. Which is a weird one. Uh, advancement. Oh, we do get... Oh, this was for the, the scarecrows. Yeah. Uh, so th that copper block one or bar just goes away. That's weird. <laughs> Not that I I need it. We, we just wanted the copper bar. And we got done with that. So now we gotta go all the way back. Track down Haley again. And then we're gonna go all the way back to the farm and 
full on chop trees as much as we can. Oh, but we get get a chance to talk to people. This is such a small tiny cannibal meeting everyone. You smell like grass. I like grass. I've talked about that one before. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. Uh, different, but kind of fun. Dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. Okay, did we talk to everybody? Did we already miss Haley? Because we gotta get Haley today. Haley? There you are. Whew, glad you didn't go in your bedroom yet. Hey, gas for me, thank you. Alright. I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. Oh, I wish there was a mall here. Okay. There isn't. But uh, Pierre's got, you know, probably some stuff. See, he doesn't really have any clothes. Okay. Uh, get out of my way. Uh, did we check here for quests? No quests. Tomorrow is Lewis's birthday. We haven't... Oh, let's do... Let's do a lap. Oh, this is where time just gets eaten up. Did we already come up here to car <laughs> clear all those? Uh, I think that was yesterday, right? We cleared all the weeds and stones and all that kind of stuff. Uh, either way, no forage. But this is the area. Oh, there's Demetrius. Let's talk to him. What's up, dude? Let's see if compounds in the rise. Rizosphere contains sufficient levels of carbon-13, then... Oh, sorry, I was finding some data and didn't notice you there. Uh, do you need anything? No. Uh, ponder your data. Have fun, dude. Uh, hey, I heard that Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. You are the carpenter. Why? Why's everything got to be me? Oh, here's Abby. She's just jamming. That's awesome. Um, doesn't seem too doomy or gloomy. Although maybe she's like playing a dirge on her little, uh, flute there. Piccolo, something. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. We really, really, really need a leak. And so far, nothing. But now we are back, and... Uh, we're going to chop trees. We got the wood from around the lake, which is good. Uh, but we'll probably actually eat today. And reset our energy that way, because we've got time. And because it's unlucky, it's not worth fishing. You could fish, and sometimes the bad luck days are actually really good luck days. Uh, it's just hidden. Uh, let's do those, and then if we need them, we'll do parsnips. of those that gets us about halfway and we'll see how this lasts because you don't really want to uh, overeat and then waste the energy at the end of the day right that makes sense get to that tree. We're missing wood out of here. Now time is becoming a deal. Maybe. And as you can see, trees don't uh, don't just spring right back up again. It takes them a little while. Uh, Two twenty one. Let's 
do it. Yes. At least some more of it. Yes. How many days out are we? <laughs> Just day one. We're gonna eat up all our parsnips. And I should say, because I don't think I have it in the stream here, um, our goal for kind of our first cash deadline, we want to have 2,000 G uh, a week from today. There's a festival. I would like to have 2,000 on that day. And uh, in and amongst all that, we've got other seeds to buy. So kind of needs to be above all that. And we don't want to just go broke at the end of all that either. So, so much competing for our resources. But there we go. Uh, level 2 foraging, awesome. Uh, we get an axe proficiency, and uh, we can craft, sur or, no, we can cook survival burgers, but we don't have the kitchen. So, uh, it was getting late. We didn't get any cash, didn't sell anything. Uh, weather, partly cloudy, light breeze. Fortune teller, very displeased again. Queen of sauce. Uh, stir fry, a little perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. I love cooking with garlic. Although, as I've said, I, I don't know if it was in one of the past ones that's been visible or not. Why stir fry would be about getting greens. Um, you know, I think if you threw like kale or something in, it would wilt very quickly. Typically stir-fry, I'm thinking, you know, like uh, peppers and, and some of those kind of things that you're putting in, onions and, and some of those crunchy type things, but I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, uh, recipes here. I think that's the first one we get. There are cooking shows. Watch the reruns. Watch the, uh, the first editions, because uh, just because it's a rerun doesn't mean you've seen it and you can get new recipes that way. Okay, uh, dear farmer ham, cab <laughs> ham cabbage, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a really nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continued on the next page. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. Uh, okay. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home and starting to value your local carpenter, Robin. That's very cool of her. Again, she's, you know, kind of advertising, but she's also offering it and kind of telling us um, what she has uh, available to us. So that's cool. All right. Do the old water grind. Right now, we are a little extended on the number of plants that we have. We've got a... Um, tend to, but uh, this is an early launch to our uh, farming XP, so we're going to be a benefit uh, longer term. And I think one thing we'll do now, it's going to take more of our cash away, but we'll probably plant some flowers now that we have uh, fertilizer in some of these random spots. Uh, parsnips, eh, that's the urge. Uh, but I think we'll get a little better on the cash, maybe. I like to think. And I'm not super worried about the need for par... Yeah, we'll cook. We'll do parsnips. It'll give us food to get through the uh, early part of summer, too. Okay, so we didn't quite use half of our energy. We did get a potato, and we got um, 
few more of those. Now we've got uh, a Silver Star Parsnip or a Daffodil for Lewis. I think we'll go ahead and give him the Silver Star. Um, he does a... Nah, let's give him a Daffodil. We'll take one for Haley too if we can track her down. Um, he does appreciate the daffodils uh, they're just not quality right so uh, we won't get as much appreciation but um, they're not they're not his loved thing we don't have any any options for any of his love gifts that I know of okay around and around we go and I yeah we need seven more pieces of wood so we'll just take one more tree here Then up we go. So one, two, three, four, and is there anything here? We'll find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are, oh, we needed those. Oh, that was not. It's like, oh, I don't want to overproduce. Okay, so it is only four. It, I don't want to overproduce fertilizer because I don't have to store it. And then I went and overproduced. So axe goes away. This comes out. We don't have enough for another chest yet. But, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to do this because I can. Um. Until you get up to halfway through the season, you really don't have to worry about even the mixed seeds. Uh, but not having to buy anything, that's huge. That's the benefit right there. Now, we want to hit Lewis. We want to hit Haley. And maybe we've got a little more foraging XP. No, just basic. Uh, we still haven't found a leak. But we're going to keep trying our best here. We got a gold star dandelion, but uh, with the exception of, I think, Leah and Linus, nobody likes dandelions. So even though it's gold star, that doesn't change their, uh, their appreciation. Uh, you know, it, if they like it, it'll make it better. But here we go. Oh, a birthday gift. And, you know, he's reasonably happy with that thank you and as you can see we got a heart from him by remembering his birthday that's a big boost to any of the gifts you can see we got Haley we gave her two gifts not on her birthday and just chatted her up uh, consistently so she's up to a, a heart uh, Leah's up there because we talked to her and Robin quite a bit and then from here you know it's just kind of muddled but they are kind of ranked so the wizard we've only talked to once uh he's down at the bottom and he'll stay there for quite a while because until and unless we really have good gifts for him he's uh kind of out of the way let's uh give penny one of these because she's up high hello uh weather's interesting today don't you think weather's always interesting sorry I love weather. I love part of me walking a lot and being outdoors. I love clouds, astronomical events, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'd honestly really thought, I might, come on. Oh, for me? Thank you. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Because you're cutting those eyes. Uh, your sister's nice. You two love each other. Um, if we happen to run into Leah, maybe we'll give her the gold star dandelion. But, uh... I wouldn't mind selling it either. We're so thin on cash. But hopefully this will begin to alleviate that particular problem right now. Yes, fix the bridge. Okay, here we go. And now something we got a coral oh but it's a silver coral and we got bubbles this is why we carry the fishing rod so see those little bubbles right 
Uh, I did get blue little stars. It's tough to see on this. Um. Oh, I didn't quite get the perfect. Oh. <laughs> this is a trash luck day, right? Uh, let's not waste our time. Um, we did what we... Oh, here's some good stuff. Seaweed and a mussel. Uh, but not really good. Uh, corals are great. Uh, sea urchins are even better. And for this season, uh, those would be the best things. So I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time fishing today. It's bad luck day. Um... There's enough other stuff that we need to be doing that if we do get around, we can talk to people, though. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes you go to sleep a lot easier. I love... As kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. Yeah, I can't say I've ever really been... Well, way back when I was a kid, uh, parents took us down to Florida. We stayed on the Gulf Coast side, and we, we did some shell hunting. Um... Then, uh, you know, as the tides went out, we were staying in a place uh, I don't know, on one of the keys and uh, ended up coming back with just, hi, do you have fun working on the farm? Yes. Well, that's good, isn't it? I think so. Awesome. Good to see you, Mero. I wish I had a daffodil for you, but I don't. So, tough. Gave them all away. Uh... Linus, he would... Whoa! <laughs> what just happened? I've never seen that. Did you guys see that? He just walked through and gave, like, the little scowl. And then, what's up, dude? Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. Is that why he's, like, angry? I've never seen someone go through... A... It was like he kicked the wild horseradish and just broke it. And he likes those as a gift if you give them to him. So it's not like, I hate them. If I ever see them, I will break them. That was bizarre. Here, dude, you seem like you're having a bad day. This is a great gift. Thank you. There, you smiling. All right. Uh, dude, don't break stuff. Maybe that's why I'm not finding any leaks. Is he out here, like, breaking the forage? Who knows? All right, well, that was a little bit of a bust, honestly. <laughs> we got one saleable forage item, a couple random um, sea stuff, and I'll show you. I think we're going to chop. So we'll sell that. Let's get our axe back. We could go wander and look for uh, spring onions again, but... I think I'd like to go for 40 pieces of wood here. And to get there, we need to get every piece. We'll see if between the seaweed and the anchovy... Oh, long. 35. We have five, four more logs. It, 40, 36, 7, oh, that's great, 8, 9, 40, and 1, perfect, all right, oh, I'll have a scythe, maybe we should go do some scything as well. Okay, chest. This is going to be a fishy box. And if you haven't seen the, uh, the YouTube stuff, I kind of have an order to my chests just to help sorting a little bit as we go. You can color code. If you want to, um, uh, if you've got the same spots that you use consistently, 
kind of less of a deal. So that frees up all that inventory space in our primary chest. And over time, uh, we'll sort out forage and crops into other chests as well. But the wood is just uh, such a choke point that um, can't do much of it. So let's put that away. And now... Maybe walk through town, see if we can happen upon a few other folks just to chat up. But, uh, try to do some more fishing for various fish types. Even though it's a bad day and we'll probably get some junk. It's such low energy. Harvey. I only talked to Harvey like once, right? What's up, man? Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess I should try... Get patience from there. Uh, Alright. Uh, good luck with that. Let's come down here and see if we can find any good fishies. Oh, there's Marnie. Hey there, it's good to see you. Feel free to visit us anytime you please. It's a little tough to get in there because she's got the store that closes. Like, Pierre's, his store sh shuts down, except on Wednesdays. He can't get into the house at all on Wednesdays. Um, but even if his shop is closed, he can still go into that house because it has the kind of workout room. Uh, there's a little chapel we haven't even looked at yet. Uh, so... Outside of business hours, you get the extra evening hours from uh, 5 until 8 to go in and visit. Shane. Let's see what we catch here. We'll eat that. What's oh, Sam? Come on, fish. I would have talked to Sam, but I guess we missed him. This is the trail. We got 18. We're down to 10, so 8 energy right now to cast. Now it's 8, and that kind of is the crossover from evening into full night. So at this point... Houses are locked. Um, you can't you can't just walk into people's houses after 8 p.m. to see them. Uh, if you miss it, some people you can, but not many. Uh, the mayor is an exception to that. Uh, you weren't very productive. I'm sorry. It's Sunday though. Take the day off. Hello. I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. Uh, I, I didn't really have expectations. Uh, Pam seems out of better leave her alone. Ah, uh, fair enough. And yeah, you. Not yet, because I don't have cash yet. Hi, ham cabbage. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. I uh, I don't have a barn yet. You'll need a loom, though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. So now I need a barn and a loom and a sheep. Sounds like something maybe I won't get to for a while. Don't you have work to do? Dude, no, it's Sunday night. I'm busy, can't you tell? All right, you guys ready for a laugh? Let's, uh, we're out of energy. We haven't done it yet. Uh, so we have arcade games here. Uh, there's a cola machine, first of all. Uh, you can buy one for 75G. No, we don't want to use, like, a fifth of our income. Um, there's a skull-shaped keyhole on whatever this video game is. And then there is this video game, Journey of the Prairie King. And it's free to play. Um... So here's my little dude. This is all uh, keys. And... Oh. 
Uh, you can uh, see it's kind of old school uh, arcade. We got. Oh! Pretty good early weapons there. Oh, oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> As I said, uh, there are some steam achievements, and one of the... Oh, I shot him. One of the early ones is to... Or was... Oh, there's a life. That's good. We're going to need that. Uh, I don't know what that did. Oh, this freezes them, right? Mm. We missed the coffee. Coffee makes you go fast. Oh, I was trying to get that going. <sighs> so there are some people that actually just crush this game. Uh, uh I am not one, in case you can't tell. Oh. I'm a little better than Abby, but not by much. And usually, uh, whenever the last time I did it was, I failed Abby. I don't get what this, uh, what is that question mark all about? Whoa, dude, what was the star? I don't think I've ever had a star. Uh, okay, well, that was it. Um... So yeah, there you go. You got a video game you can come in and play. It doesn't eat any time. It's just kind of a, a fun little hangout bonus thing. There's so many fun little... Uh, oh, fried egg. 50 energy. Um, not the best food you can see. I think the best garbage can food. Let's do the whole garbage can loop. And now they said it was a bad luck day. And we didn't see... Oh, there we go. We got some bread. Seems pretty good to me. So Lewis will sometimes... He's the one exception. You can sometimes come in and see him. Ah, since you've been spending some time in the old community center, it's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Uh, Pelican Town Marriage Law. After marriage, you may file for a divorce here. Let's hope it isn't necessary. That's actually the table behind him. That's what I said about the garbage cans. Be careful when you're in the area and clicking on people to talk to them. You can sometimes accidentally pick up the uh, the garbage can block instead, and then they'll get angry. <laughs> You've wasted all the good fortune you would have had from talking to them. So. Or good fortune, good, uh, good karma conversation. So good. Uh, maybe we should have been... Fi Although the fishing was kind of trash. The the few that we did, we got that bubbles and it went away immediately. Um, but no... No regrets on checking all those. And now we'll just kind of make a run back for home. Um, so as you can see, we can craft these out of seeds. They give you 45 energy. The bread gives you 50 and the fried egg gives you 50. And... Uh, None of those are, are awesome. They're actually kind of all ingredient. Well, not the field snacks. Field snacks are just their own thing. Um, but the bread and the eggs actually become ingredients for a lot of other foods once you have a kitchen. But we will gladly have those. I'm not going to use them today, uh, but maybe in the next day. All right, we are uh, getting pretty well in here. I'm going to mute for just a second while we're on this day. Uh, get up, walk around, move my legs a little bit, and we'll be right back with you guys. So hang out. Um, make yourself comfy. I'll be right back, and we'll see you soon.
All right, how's everybody doing? I am bio-braked, reset some water, got a little snack. Looked outside, saw that uh, most all of the snow that was all over my truck has cleared all naturally by itself because I didn't go anywhere today, <laughs> except the front window, and that's already melting too. Awesome. I love it when nature takes care of stuff like that. All right, so we are uh, pressing on and continuing. Remember, we just uh, just went to bed. We had the forage, and uh, the only thing we had was this silver star coral, but it gives us 100G. I think the base one is 80. So that kind of tells you, you know, as you have more valued goods, uh, the increase between these levels is pretty significant. And at this point in the game, 100, 100G from any one item is pretty good. We sold these couple of smallmouth bass, and uh, between the two of them, they got us over 100, and all around, pretty good. No new levels, though. That's sad. All right, uh, day eight. Here we go. Checking the TV. Could use some rain. Beautiful and sunny again. Uh, fortune. Neutral. Not bad. And living off the land. Fences. Uh, said this fences to me are just a waste of time they're decorative you can use them decorative but uh, they do degrade fences break down um and the only thing i'm really concerned about it, in my games or my worlds for fencing is keeping animal uh i'm sorry keeping weeds out of the crops and i can do that just as well once we start setting up paths so uh, we'll hold out for those got a couple more Excuse me, parsnips. And you can see some of these places where we've uh, used the hoe to go after uh, those little wiggly worms or sticks, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, the game itself seems to have a bit of a split uh, decision on it. At one point, uh, I think it's the the same living off the land TV show refers to them as if you ever see three little stems sticking out of the ground. Uh, but I think there's another reference in the game at some point about uh, about use looking where the worms are for uh, goodies. So I've always thought they were worms personally. Never never really occurred to me as sticks. Uh, sticks typically don't just you know shake and jive there. Uh, to each their own. All right, so I think what it was Friday that we replanted all of these. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So they should be ready to pick tomorrow. Uh, we can do two seeds today. We don't have any. Um, back up to 16 of those, though. We've got good food. We've got neutral spirits. I think let's... We'll go through town. Checking for a quest, but I think we want to get back into the mine, so we haven't done significant mining yet um, unless we find like gems and stuff I guess we can sell this parsnip because <laughs> we uh, don't anything with it let's pull those parsnips for food uh, I guess we have all these let's uh, use it or lose it right well, not really. <laughs> you can use it or sit on it, but it'll be relatively much less valuable once we have a lot more food. All right, so that and uh, let's check 208. Yeah, so we can eat either one of these without any waste. That should take us almost all the way up. Uh, maybe we get lucky, get some more forage. We'll probably end up swinging through the... Uh, the mountain path up leaving our farm from the north when we actually get there but uh, 
doesn't hurt to check, doesn't sp spend any of our energy, and I'd kind of like to get to that 11 o'clock hour so we can go see Haley before heading up to the mines. The sooner we can get her to two hearts, then we don't have to worry about time. We can just, as soon as her house opens up at 9, we can go in and uh, say hi. I love animals, Mr. Ham Cabbage. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll be good friends. Okay. Uh, try to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 90G to any fisherman who catches three sunfish. Good luck, Willie. Okay, that's pretty possible. Sunfish in uh, the rivers during the day. Um, but they're, they're kind of cheap fish, honestly. I don't know if I really want to go after them. So we'll see. Um, maybe tomorrow. So the reason why I'm pushing hard on Haley, uh, with this Sunday, if we can give her uh, a better daffodil, if we find any with some quality, uh, that'll really improve her friendship. So it would be awesome to have her all the way up to two before we get there. Uh, we'll see if that's possible or not. Unfortunately, no good quests. Um, and I don't have... A fishing pole on me, so let's run down here and we'll check for new stuff. Uh, did we already have an oyster? I think we had a mussel and uh, I think we did have an oyster, right? We had a clam and a clay. Not going well in making worlds of riches out of that. Sometimes you're actually, like, you know, just getting blown up. You'll get, like, eight, a day where there's eight corals in there, and they've all got stars on them. And you're like, oh, now I, I'm rich. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Just say hi. You got it. All right, 11 o'clock. Haley should be coming out. You're not going to gift today, Haley, but... Uh, You've already got one this week. This town is so small, it sucks. I have to drive like 20 miles to buy any decent clothes. Do you have a car? Because <laughs> the bus broke down. I thought that had us all trapped here. That's why I usually order online. Uh, what? Whatever. If you ever want to drive to town and I can just ride along, that would be cool. Bye. Sam again. Sell that. Store that. Oh, we did have one. Store that. And now we're good to go. And this will be when we'll start getting all kinds of forage just because it can fill up my inventory. <laughs> Make me decide what we're going to carry and what we're going to drop. I won't complain though if there's a leak game. Give me a leak. Need a leak. Leak, 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 leak. Nope. Oh, I uh, Desperate times are kind of calling for desperate measures. We haven't been this way yet, so let's just... This goes nowhere, but there is sometimes foraging out here. That is the other real drawback of being in the smaller window. Um, you don't just get as much peripheral space in your field of view, even when you're zoomed out. The reason I play at the maximum zoom out is when you're walking around, you are seeing stuff off screen on these edges. Um, can save you walking as far. But still no leaks. That is brutal, 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 brutal. Um, okay, we're going to go down to level 5. We got uh, the Wonder Twins here. Ooh, that's good. Anything? 
anything at all. No. All right. At least we looked. Again, neutral day. Uh, mixed bag, kind of. Careful not to click on the ladder on your way out. Uh, so, mainly we'd like to get uh, get the five levels here. Um, certainly copper. Uh, it would be awesome to get a few stones. Uh, the quartz is nice, but uh, in addition to those, really help. Cherry bomb is nice. Um, bombs don't tend to do a ton of damage to active mobs. There's one where uh, the mo the explosives are really uh, handy. That's where you can run into a little bit of trouble. You can't switch your weapon fast enough, or if you're if it's still completing its swing and you try to quick switch numbers, you'll go too fast, and uh, it won't count. I get caught with that a lot. Mm, I guess we can plant that as opposed to the uh, just waiting for tomorrow and buying more parsnips. But it will also be kind of the first first to go in the stuff that we do have right now. Cave carrot. Uh, like I said, first to go. We planted a lot of mixed seeds, and we're going to buy parsnip seeds tomorrow. So, not... There we go. There's something else. Definitely take the topaz, which is what that is, over the um, bug meat or the sap. Good. We want coal. Oh, 168 out of 270. That seems like we can eat the egg. Ooh, good. There's an earth crystal. That's really good because now tomorrow we can go see Gunther. Got another topaz. That's really good. Oh. I think that's our first Duggy we've encountered. Little mole like things. This is why you want to get them stuck against a wall, because they will jump past you, and then chaos ensues. Didn't I have a... Yeah. Okay. Seven... Slime. Copper will take. Very good. Hey, we made it to level 10, so we got our 
thing. And here, uh, I've said this a few times, uh, you can drop items just out of your inventory there, and then we can put our boots into our foot spot and pick up our logs again. Uh, normally, you know, in some interfaces, you have to swap. Uh, let's take one more level. We're not going to get um, beyond all this. Oh, maybe. Don't think we have enough time in the day to get beyond, and I'd really prefer to do that and get one more slime. That will let us into the Adventurer's Guild. Let's go there. <laughs> Sometimes this game is just a horrible tease. Because, you know... And then right when it gets close, it's like, no, now, now you're going to miss out on everything. I think the Adventurer's Guild is only open till 10. Uh, but if we can get to level 15... Ooh, good. Uh, let's get these barrels, just see. Here we're really hoping for coal or a weapon. Or a lot of stone. Alright, that's good enough. We gotta get home. Uh, but we did get, get that extra bonus level. That's awesome. So we are down to 15. Never expected to get uh, two sets with that late start. But awesome. Pretty good for a neutral day. And we got a topaz and an earth crystal to add to the quartz and take to um, Gunther. <laughs> we got a little bit of energy. So let's just do a little more cleanup. Always picking away at it, right? Just like, uh, just like my Minecraft play. So uh, always just be doing a little something here and there when it's uh, when circumstances favor it. You can kind of maximize this stuff, and it'll leave you really well off rather than getting caught trying to do it at uh, inconvenient times. So, all right, uh, 11.30. I think we've done pretty darn well for ourselves. Uh, we're going to put that, one of those, that, those, that. Uh, we're right at 20. We could make another... Uh, but I don't think we will. We will instead come here. So both of those. And that's... Typically I'd hold on to more of those, but we need to, we haven't done well on cash at all. And right into bed. Woo! Big time! So here we go. 303 gold... Uh, our topaz at 80 helps a bunch and uh, for the quartz. So right now, uh, we really can't afford to not do that kind of stuff. Uh, one basic coral, and we got uh, 43 gold out of one silver star parsnip. So picking away at it, I think that gets us up over 1,000. And now we should have parsnips up. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Uh, Vincent's birthday is today or tomorrow. Uh, new viewer from Stardew Valley. Uh, perturbed spirits. Uh, we already saw about the well in her, in her shop, uh, but she's offering it here to us as well. Again, I don't... Never seen any need, uh, other than just pure cosmetics. And, you know, if you're getting to the cosmetics part... Um, Fair enough, but at that point, the cost and everything won't matter. So. Six. And we're going to go ahead and do all of this into parsnips. As I talked about, there is 
Uh, definitely something we'd like to do with parsnips. And as you can see, we're getting more quality even without fertilizer at this point. Uh, but now we're going to fertilize everything. And hopefully with all those trees we chopped, we've got enough sap to make enough fertilizer to get all this done. And it doesn't look like we have any parsnips ready to pop, which is good. Um, because tomorrow, piers will be closed, and we would uh, be out. We do have those couple of mix seeds as a backup. Oh, no, we don't. What happened to the mix seeds? Do we use them all? I thought I'd gotten a few more after that. Anyway, never mind. So we got up to 40 parsnips, which is good from a food perspective. We can put that away. Grab these, grab this. We're going to just make all of the fertilizers now. And as you can see, we got plenty. And because this is a bad luck day, um, we good. So, you know, one, obviously, once your plants are in, you can't add fertilizer after the fact. Uh, but that will help us. Uh, Gold Star Parsnip, we're hanging on to for now. Uh, hopefully with this, we'll be loaded with gold and silver stars once we get done. Uh, let's put these away. Let's do this. Grab that. I, we'll take two just in case. Um, I don't want to run short. But I'm pretty... Yeah, now we can go to the... Oh, and we want sunfish, so it's a good thing I got the fishing rod. Maybe we can get those early and then go down to fish the ocean in the evening and take three sunfish to Willy, if it works out that way. And we're just kind of killing time. Uh, Piers doesn't open until 9 anyway. And since we're up here, might as well do the full loop. And that's why we remove all those little weeds to get more daffodils. Still wouldn't complain if there was a leak in there anywhere. But I haven't seen it yet. All right. Oh, there's Meru. Slime hunter to, sli to slay four green slimes in the local mine. This is way better than the sunfish, right? Because we want to be in the mine anyway. Um, four in the green slime level isn't too tough to get to. And 240, so uh, 60? No. I don't know. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, six times four is 24. Uh, so 60 a pop for the green slimes. Really good, and we would uh, likely come across those anyway. So we really like that. Uh, we can escape. Some of those don't give me the X option. But before we do anything, was it 29? Or now am I forgetting some? Did we have extras that we harvested? All right, let's sell these for 172. And then... I hope that's enough. Um... Let's just get one more. <laughs> I have a little cushion. All right. It's kind of fun because Meru is now uh, Harvey's assistant. She will help him out of his office. I don't come in here too often. Uh, feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. Uh, you're young, though. You'll probably stay healthy without trying. <laughs> yeah, uh, ew. No, no, we're not going to put our fingers in the sample jars. And then we can walk around behind the counter. Have you met my mother? She's the town's carpenter. Meru, I, I've seen you in your house. Here, have a daffodil. You seem confused. Have a good day at work. Um, so, yeah, she's uh, she's kind of an office assistant. Uh, she's not really a nurse, I don't think. She talks about how she, you know, does filing and... Uh, helps maintain some of the equipment because she's kind of inventor gadgety type personality. 
I work part-time at Gus's Saloon. It pays the bills. I didn't look at the calendar either. Now I'm realizing. Uh, it's still not two stars. Come on, Haley. Get out here. Oh, we got a half hour. Oh, we do have the fishing rod, though, so let's go do this. Let's see if we can get some sunfish. Come on, sunfish. While I fish, I'm going to lift the mic and have a sip. Yeah, I heard a door. I'm guessing that's Haley. one sunfish, but I'm not gonna... Oh, Sam. Oh. oh, hi, it's good to see you again. Take it easy. You too, man. Such bad fishing. Oh, doesn't seem very sunfishy. Oh, it was sunfishy. All right, Haley, are you up? Go. You're wasting the whole day. Did she, I miss her? Come on. <sighs> All right, up we go gonna be another one of those fiasco days um stardew you know that that's where it gets uh a little tough if you're playing it fast it's designed to kind of be that don't worry about what you got planned sometimes life throws you curves and, and make the best of it are those made out of plastic my shoes um pro probably there's some plastic in there oh you're bored so you're just teasing me because you're bored all right fair enough now, did that get you two hearts? No. Dang it. Uh, really need two hearts over there. Um, but it's Tuesday, and I've already given her her gifts. So, it's kind of nice to be ahead. Now, this is what I need to check. So, it is Wednesday for Vincent. That was why I carried the other daffodil, just in case. We'll come down here and do our we're slave to oh 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 bubbles. <laughs> you sunfish. Maybe. This is how this game always gets you. I'll give you two of, uh, you need three, and then, then you're out of luck. I was hoping the bubbles would change that for us. Come on. All right, let's go over here. Uh, I like this side a little better just because you have more chance of spotting bubbles. Uh, you get the up and oh, down. Hey, Sam. Hey, Penny. I know you guys can't really see Penny's head, but I happen to know that's Penny. Come on. Come on. Fish. <sighs> All right. It's getting too late in the day anyway. Uh, oh, here's Elliot, though. It's fish by Elliot. What's up, Elliot? You want to watch me fish? You can be my lucky guy. Mm. 
Maybe he's like feeding some breadcrumbs in there. I was planning to fish for longer, I'd tell you guys the fishing story. Oh. Let's see. This seems a little too spunky to be a sunfish. <sighs> I think by five they don't come out anymore. So when I was a kid we used to uh, my grandparents had a little little boat, old boat even then. Um which when my parents were kids, uh, they used for water skiing and stuff, but it was, you know, it was kind of past that, but our whole family would pile into it and, uh, we'd go have these breakfasts and stuff out at a lake. Um, and at the docks of this place, it was kind of like a pavilion, kind of a private, private island, but a club type deal. Oh, oh nice. Um, where, you know, you, you paid, it was a whole heck of a lot cheaper than like a country club or something like that, but you would have a docking pro oh, come on, dude. Uh, you'd get docking privileges at this uh, at this island. And then they had like a concrete thing with a metal roof uh, pavilion area where you could set up and um cook, uh, picnic, you know, if you just want to bring prepared food, whatever, you know, and there was this island, you could, it had a big mowed field that you could, uh, you know, play soccer and stuff on it. Um, but it also had all these just docks, not slips, there were no covers or anything, but spread out docks where, um, all the boats could pull in. And, no! Oh, I'm so stupid! Oh! Ah, oh, that's how this game gets you. You start eating. Ah, oh, Elliot! Great idea. It can pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Yeah, like when you eat your sunfish to make Willie happy. Ah! Oh, well, I really must get back to my work. Well, I guess I might as well tell the stupid story now. So, there were these docks, and we would fish uh, my uncle, I think, made these little, like, dowels. They're kind of like, uh, the winder things for kites. Uh, they're kind of rectangular, and they have, like, two sides with little dowels across the top and the bottom, and you can just wind string over them, then roll and unroll, um, as is. He made little fishing things out of those. We basically, you know, just put a little bit of fishing line on them with a hook and a bobber, and, uh, you didn't need the whole pole, and they stored in the boat, you know, like, in a side little pocket thing right so we didn't need anything and you know if, if you're having some breakfast or something you just take some extra little scraps and use those to bait your your hooks um and we could fish off the docks and there were tons of sunfish like that was all you were going to catch with those little windy thingies right um but these people had a, a boat with a, the kind of like uh the back little at the water um deck thing it was an inboard boat so behind the the water output things it had this like you know swimming platform thing where you could get in and out of the boat easily without having to climb all the way over the sides so they had these two dogs uh goldens i believe and they would uh they would take breadcrumbs and throw them out off the back of that boat so that the little sunfish would come up and start plucking away at the things and the dogs would sit there and watch and watch and watch and watch and when they um when they timed it just right the dogs would jump into the water and go after the fish <laughs> and uh every once in a while they would catch them uh like you know they uh, you think of like bears and stuff fishing uh i was still one short lovely great day great mine <laughs> minecraft Great Stardew Day. Ugh, oh, losing it here. Okay, so we can at least sell those two. We got Haley a gift. Um, let's go... Toss that. Grab that. Grab this. Grab these. 
two things can salvage this. One, we get uh, get a leak. Two, we make it over to the Adventurer's Guild before they close at 10 and can go in and say hi to those guys. Three, we get into them. Oh, there's a leak. All right. I don't want to get greedy. Now, if we can make it over to Adventurer's Guild. Got an hour and a half. Show you guys that. And get the... Uh, <laughs> get the quest thing out of our journal. All right. Uh, journal updated. We made it to the Adventures Guild. Here it is. Uh, lots of good stuff. And here's Marlin, the guy who met us. So he's got a little shop, too. He sells and buys uh, weapons and various, uh, various items that you may find in the caves. And as your combat level goes up, he'll improve his stock. Also, as you go deeper in the mine, if you've discovered things or gotten them, he'll begin to sell them as well. So like our leather boots, we made it to level 10, I think that was, got the leather boots, and now he sells them. So if we ever lost them, um, he would, or accidentally sold them to him and decided we wanted them back, uh, you're never going to get as much as he sells for, but uh, you can replace items here. You can also sell duplicates, or you don't even have to, you know, if we wanted to upgrade, I don't, I want to hang on to my money, but if I wanted to turn... Uh, this into a wooded blade, I can uh, switch out or sell out uh, this, buy this. I think this would give me like 25G or 50. So it's a pretty bad sword, but the wooden blade isn't that much better. Uh, three to seven. Uh, this one is two to five, I think. And uh, the daggers are fast. Uh, this one gives a little uh, crit chance bonus, uh, but it's lower, uh, lower item score. All right, uh, hang on one second, guys. I'm going to leave you here. i got to meet you for a second. Oh, oh I just missed a call. <laughs> I, I missed yesterday during this, and the person was like, oh, I'm going to be busy all night tonight. I'll catch you tomorrow. Well, nope, not yet. Um, there we go. Okay. Uh, so we were talking about the store. Um, nothing, nothing much we're going to do for it right now, but this is the question mark and this is the board, uh, where they run bounties, um, monster eradication goals, helping, helping us keep the valley safe. So slimes are throughout the caves and you have to kill a thousand of them to, uh, reach this goal. A lot of unknown monsters. Uh, like we said, we saw one Dougie. Uh, you only need 30 of those, though. They're a little less common. Insects, uh, we've killed 14. And that was what I was saying with the, the four green slimes. Actually works out pretty well because uh, we're doubling up. We're, we're getting those. We can get some cash. We're also adding to this count, which, you know, that's... Unless you're really trying for it... Um, in well into the second year when you've finally gotten a thousand slimes. I think that slime hutch would probably help you. Uh, let's go to level five again. I don't think we're going to have enough time, but if we can even get a couple of the green slimes, it might help us in a pinch tomorrow. So... And it's always easier if you can gather or accomplish whatever it is in the first day, unlike the like the sunfish is a perfect example. We did not fish for those, so when I accidentally ate one, we uh, were already lost. If I'd been doing that the first day and made the mistake, okay, now we just gotta go back and get one more uh, sunfish, and we can still make Willie happy. the little ding so that's our talk to lewis we've 
completed that goal. So he's good. His house does close at 10. Sometimes he'll stay at the bar a little later, but it's not worth it. We've got two days. Uh, so tomorrow will be the final day, and we can talk to him then and get our cash. And all in all, um, not too bad, really. Really got to kind of get back to home, but we'll just get... It, these is kind of the opposite, right? Here, we know we're not going to be here for long, so let's just give those a try. See if we could get any coal. We didn't, but well worth. And now we're going to run for home again. Home again, home again. Uh, but we got our leak. We got to get into the Adventurer's Guild. So we kind of salvaged that uh, sunfish of a disaster. Uh, we also got... Uh, Haley, our second gift of the week, we got Penny a Daffodil, and we confirmed that um, Vincent's birthday is tomorrow, so we hopefully won't forget that. And we planted a whole bunch of parsnips and harvest a bunch, so maybe we'll even get more uh, positive uh, growth out of that. Let's put that away, safe and sound. We'll get out our watering can. Uh, bug meat I put in there because it does become the base ingredient for bait for fishing later. And there we go, we're all reset. Hopefully we'll get our full energy tomorrow. Go to sleep for the night. We did get level two farming, that's from all the parsnips. Uh, so watering can gets a little more efficiency, so does our hoe. We can make stone fences, we can make mayo machines, and we can make a sprinkler. All very good stuff. We got level two fishing. Uh, our fishing rod gets a little bit more proficient, so I suspect, and I don't know if it's every level or not, but I suspect that now we can... Um, cast our line for less than eight uh, but you know it's not every single level <laughs> that those go down because obviously at level two we'd be down to casting for no energy and that never happens so i don't know if it would happen at level two or not but there's a chance and uh, it's kind of always moving in the right direction and our little bar will get bigger when fishing we got level one combat five hit points uh added so that keeps us healthier uh, we can craft a sturdy ring and we can make bug steak and we talked about that in one of them. Bug steak takes 10 bug meats. I never tend to gather that much in my possession. It would be handy to like uh, throw those together on the while you're down in the caves. But until by the time you have enough inventory space to do that, you usually have better food sources and options anyway. So eh, it's not a big deal. There we go. Uh, we're going to save it on this screen, or sit on this screen right here for a second. I'm going to take another break uh, so I can return that call real quick and uh, go uh, forward from there. All right. Uh, I've got notices in here. I wouldn't even know if there are people in here. All right. Uh, taking a little break. We'll be right back. You guys uh, take care. Get up, stretch those legs, move around a little bit. We'll see you in a moment. Uh, all right, back in a bit.
All right, we're getting those breaks in because <laughs> uh, that was the post-holiday catch-up call with uh, with somebody that uh, we swung and missed yesterday and uh, finally got caught up. So excellent stuff there. Let's uh, let's keep pushing on. We are uh, just to, into our fourth hour, um, so we'll get another one here. Kind of go with a. Uh, full stretch. I don't want to forget about poor Vincent and, uh, not sure I would remember if I came back to a fresh stream. So, uh, weather, cloudy with a light breeze. Uh, I haven't really ever figured it. I mean, it's cool visually. You get the pollen and stuff in the air, but, or the petals, but, um, never been real sure what they're pointing to. Uh, somewhat annoyed luck not on our side. Oh, hey, look at this. Hello, ham cabbage. Hey, Marty. You see this dog here? Yep. Woof, woof. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I don't got doggy. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's stray, poor thing. Um, We're in a small town. Everybody should know where the strays come from. Hey, it seems to like this place. Hey, uh, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? I do. Of course I'm going to adopt the, adopt the dog. Let's call this dog... Um, Snowdrift. Because it's snowy outside. What's up, Snowdrift? Whoa. Well, Snowdrift, you'll be a good pooch now, okay? He will be. Uh, let's maybe give him a bath. Cause, but seriously, it's a small town. Like... If he's a stray dog, uh, somebody's probably missing him. And, of course, as you get later, um, if you leave stuff untended, unwatered, it's much more likely <laughs> to revert back to soil. Of course, the two that we cleared little wiggly worms from early on in the game, still sitting there. Just goes, you know, anytime you don't want something, it'll, it'll linger. Anytime uh, it'd be nice to have that field sit, um, pretty good odds it's going to go away. But we are plugging away here. Get our watering done again with our new level of efficiency. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, I don't know that I really need to water those couple. It's probably a big waste because they may revert anyway. Um, the water may help it hold. I don't know. We'll see. A little for science here. All right. There we go. All the watering done. We got a bunch more parsnips now, all with fertilizer going. And we got more potatoes. And one to sell. So that's pretty good. We did get... Uh, we need to go talk to Lewis about our... Um, whatchamacallit. Slimes that we killed. We need to take this to uh, Vincent. And we need to sell that. Uh, beyond that, we're... Because it's poor luck, kind of a good day. I don't know. We Maybe we end up going back to the mines. We'll see if a quest helps give us any guidance as to what we want to do today. Otherwise, I think we'll head for maybe spring onions and uh, foraging down uh, kind of towards the wizard's tower and all that area uh, as opposed to fishing. But I could very easily... <laughs> Daffodil, but that does point us towards Marnie. So, fair enough, Marnie. We'll uh, come see you. And she, no, I don't have time to chat with you. Uh, all right, dude. Whatever. So, we can't get into the store. Let's see if we can get Vincent right now. I may give the beach forage a rest, actually. I don't know. Man, we need... We're so far from two grand. Hey! Hey! 
I want to look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I get all dirty. It's a tough choice. Well, it is your birthday, um, unless you like got a family party or something. Hey, I remember my birthday. That's great. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those birthday you get to have fun, but if your mom's got something planned, it's 9:20, and my goodness, I still have tons of work to do. It's still beginning of the day, Jody. You're fine. Just chill. Just chill. She's probably gotta like make a cake for a little Vincent there. Alright, here's uh Jazz on her way to school. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't have anything to say because when her parents are like, don't talk to stranger or her aunt, she Aunt Marnie is her uh kind of guardian. I don't know that we ever maybe I just haven't gotten her backstory, but I don't know how how much that builds in or what what exactly is going on there. Um She's a good kid though. And seems like you know the the more attentive and studious one, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh you know, adults told Jazz, hey, don't talk to strangers, um it, you know, it could be bad that she would pay attention, whereas Vincent, the guy that, uh, you know, struggles at, at paying attention in school, he's kind of like, yeah, uh, they said that, but uh, I'm going to make my own decisions. <laughs> you seem fine to me. Um, it's, that's the kind of thing that just makes you so cringy when uh, when you're taking care of or trying to teach little kids stuff. Like, don't don't tell me that. Because, you know, it's just the people that seem all right that are the ones that uh, are kind of trying to gravitate to uh, vulnerable people. Same thing goes with seniors. It's not just a kid's thing, right? Uh, elderly folks who are more prone to uh, some of the scams and things like that. You know, the people that prey on them know that. They, they know, hey... You want to be independent. You want to. You want to still make uh, judgment calls and distinctions. And in your own mind, you're perfectly capable of doing that. But you, you know, it's just not as easy to step back and uh, and look from a, an outsider's perspective. So, hey, we got our scythe here now. Oh, we will store that and those and that. Getting a little low on daffodils now. Um, let's pull these. Let's sell these. Uh, did we sell any yet? Uh, let's check. Oh, we haven't even looked at collections yet. We did sell one, so we're just going to eat them. We're not going to eat the daffodil, though. We're also going to change our loadout. Boom, 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 boom. And, oh, we got to talk to Lewis. We can't forget that. Uh, delivery, Marnie. So we're going to swing by here, try to find Lewis. Hopefully he's not off uh, some random place. His schedule is tough because... He spends a lot of time in very prominent places and very accessible, but he does have times when he checks in on all these various businesses. So you'll see him at times that uh, you can cut. <coughs> he used the side to cut grass for feed, or you can buy it from me, of course. I could use the cash. Adios. See ya. But first, Daffodil. Oh, so you saw the ad I post. I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your trouble. And that will get uh, a little bit more affection with Marnie. So she's up to a heart. Vincent's birthday gets him to two. That's good. Uh, maybe we can catch Haley. Still got more of these to eat. All right, that's good. If our health gets knocked down too much, um, it's 
kind of better to control the eating uh, based on our use. All right, so who are we looking for? Lewis and... Hey, what's up, dude? Ah, Ham Gabbage, so you helped us with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. I know it can be really hard to get that sticky slime out of your clothes. Definitely ruined a few good pairs of pants trying to catch those little squirmers. I can remember Papa going into a rage after I got aquamarine slime all over my brand new twill pants. Uh, well, anyway, enjoy your reward. Thanks, dude, and enjoyed the story. So, cash, 240 for the slimes, and 90 for the daffodil, and Marnie was happy uh, with her little reward. And we saw Vincent, so socially, we're kind of doing great. Now we don't have to worry about hunting around for Lewis. So I think even though it's a bad luck day, we're going to go to... Oh, hey, what's up? On Tuesday and Thursday, I work at Harvey's clinic. He says he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes haywire. So like I said, she's she's not necessarily medical herself, um, but she does a lot of the office administrative stuff and uh, the gadgets or the, the machines if they go haywire. She's the one to kind of fix those up. Ooh, 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 more leaks. Now we're into leak season. Um... Have my fishing run. Once we expand our inventory just a little bit, uh, fishing rod will rarely leave our hands. Uh, and once we get to uh, the full size backpack, nothing <laughs> will leave our hands very often. We'll kind of always carry scythe or sword. Um, Ho. A lot of times pick and axe, but that one can vary a little bit. Alright, there's our exit. Anybody over here? We got a bug. Death Dougie. So this is, this is what I mean by the bad luck. You actually can see more monsters and things like cherry bombs. Uh, you can actually farm those a little bit better. Not to mention the eradication goals. And here we go. Um, so one thing here, uh, we don't want to kind of overuse our cherry bombs, but because these take three swings, um, all those clustered together is a great use for a cherry bomb. All right, let's go get you guys as many of you as you can. Oh, I got them all. Good. Um, these are annoying. Those little caterpillar white grubby looking things are actually the larvae for these flies or wasps or whatever they are. So, good to knock them out. Nothing here. Look at that 21. Oh, come on. Oh, he went into... So he gets a little... Uh, pupa? And these stupid bugs. With this bat... Oh, now there's another one. We may have to flee. Uh, let's do... Like that noise? It's pretty awesome, huh? Oh, come on. Oh, finally. Alright, we didn't have to flee, and that was nice. think we saw anything yet, did we, for a ladder? I hope I haven't overlooked one. Uh, we will... Well, let's do this. Oh, we got a rice shoot. We can plant that. Another one that very soon I don't care about. Um, but early on, just to be able to grow it. It's good. Oh, man. This is the problem with bad luck. And this is why I said... 
more than likely uh, we'll need to repair health too, so don't worry too much about being top tops with energy. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. I can check this chest. Any any improved weapon would be really nice. We're not gonna waste time. Just go. Copper, though. See, this is the problem. You scatter these and then. Oh, whew. Just stay way on top of the health, especially with this Dougie. Uh, he's gonna. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh it's so frustrating. Hey, you go away. Give me that. Rice shoots, but I don't like them that much. And we will do this for six coal. Uh, now, now we have to get lucky, and that's not good on a lucky day. Unlucky day. Got lucky. No, this is 19... Shoot, I thought we were done. I was, like, waiting for the ding. Uh, big trouble. Uh, we gotta go. No way I can guarantee making it. I guess we'll give this one a provisional shot, but... Didn't expect that. What that may do in the future. First of all, we got a lot of good loot. Uh, 35 copper was makes the trip worth it almost by itself. Uh, we killed a lot of bugs and stuff, so hopefully that helps our combat. Got 7 coal. Very good. Um, the earth crystal and the topaz are great. And so hopefully we'll get some level experience and the next time we go back, if it's lucky, it a lot of times I've found you get ladders much more frequently if you've already been through, or they may actually just show up. So, hey, doggy's in bed with us. Uh, that's awesome, but you need to let me go to sleep. <coughs> All right, level two mining. Uh, we get, can make staircases. They're 99 stone, so not very efficient right now. But if you can't find a ladder, you just throw one down and you go down to the next level. Uh, 100 gold out of farming, that's it. Or geez. Um, we didn't get combat or... Uh, maybe others. 
All right. Well, guys, uh, I see in the clock, I know we didn't do four, uh, five hours of content with the breaks and all that, but I think we've done four. So I think we're going to call it there. Um, we're doing pretty well here with ham cabbage. Uh, our dog Snowdrift is keeping us company. We have uh, 1100 G. Hopefully, um, we get some good luck on this day so that we can fish forage the beach between those two maybe we can get uh get lucky and maybe have a quest that we can throw on top of that uh we will probably sell these two just to try to turn things over quickly so that we can try to get up to 2000 uh, that's always my goal and I, I haven't struggled this much in a long time but we've we've been improving other stuff and our farming is through the roof so it's not all bad, but uh, just kind of the way the game plays out. So we'll see what it has in store for us next. Until then, and as always, take care of yourselves, and we will see you back here for more in the future. Watch Twitter for uh, updated scheduling or anything like that. Still too new to really know when I'm going to consistently be going, but hope you've enjoyed. Check out the VODs, and uh, make sure to uh, either follow or uh, hit up the uh, my Twitter uh, where I'll try to let you know in advance if, you know, looking at this time or whatever until I really get settled into a pattern. Take care. Uh, let's get out of here. Exit up here. What that does for our stream. Absolutely nothing there. So let's get you guys a thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, have a great uh, rest of your day or evening. And remember, check the VODs and or YouTube for this content. See you next time. Bye now.